F, F this. F this. F this. Fuck this, Mr. White. You need some cans on, fucker. Are we live? We're live. We're so live. What up? Hello? Hi. Greetings. Are we going? Yes, we are. Well, well, well. Welcome, folks, uh, to another lovely episode of F This. Episode 5. That's right, 5 by 5. And uh, today we uh, have a lovely guest with us today. If anybody wants to spin their attention to uh, my lovely sister. Stare at her. Say hi. Hi. Hi, honey. Hello, Hello everyone. everyone. So what's up? Nice to be here. Yeah, she's all the way, she's all the way from uh, the, the lovely... Lovely, lovely <laughs> town Freezing of ass. Grand Prairie. Grand Prairie. Grand Prairie. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. So, if you want to speak your microphone over a little bit, so we can catch her too. There you go. Sweet. There we go. There we go. So, yeah. so we are at this the podcast, and I have some noise going on. Oh, this is nice. Yeah. 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 She's already messed <laughs> She's already here fucking shit up for me. <laughs> so we're we're F this and we're a podcast. We're a comedy podcast that kind of dabbles in mental health and uh, nerdy and lovely and beautiful shit that we have the cult. That's right. We like to burn houses down and dress in the lot. That's right. During Christmas time. Oh, yes. Anyways, I'm Duff. Shante. Swanili. Monique. <laughs> what the fuck is up, folks? Hey. How the fuck are you? How the F are ya? Pretty uh, pensive. Uh, How the F are you? Is everyone ready for Christmas? That's right. Oh, we're ready for it to be over. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Praise the Lord. Lord. Is that that is you is miss. Hey? <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, we okay. got... I want to send a special thank you out to the Ali Lama for letting us record our episode in this lovely, lovely tattoo boat. shop. Divine yeah. Ink, people. You. Divine Ink. Give it up for Divine Ink. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You guys could probably tell it's a little different because you guys could probably see us. Yeah. It's real All bright. Oh, yeah. Hey, look at us. We're under <laughs> lights. We're under lights. <laughs> You can see all our lovely faces and not so lovely faces. And I hope you guys can hear us very well. Yes. Very Tell well. us, let us know if you can hear us. Let us know, please. Is yeah. anybody in the chat room right now? Uh, there is, let me see. Give him shout outs. Uh, uh, Jasmine. What up, Jasmine? Where's hey. Aladdin? Hey, Jeff. <laughs> I can't believe really see who else is in here, but yeah. Uh, we have Estin as well, too. Estin, 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 what's up? Rachel. Hi, guys. Hey, guys. Hi. Thanks for joining us on our Christmas episode. Luck, luck, lucky enough, you only caught one of us in the Christmas oh, spirit. Yeah. Uh, he's going to have to stand up and show oh, us that lit shit. We were all going to be wearing sweaters. Everybody was going to do that. But Neil's the only one that was cool enough to yeah, get we're, lit. We're, we're smart enough <laughs> to do this in advance. Well, we, it's not that we weren't smart. It's that we're insanely busy. Yes. And stupid, so it's okay. <laughs> well, I'm dumb, so I'm taking. I'm just I'm taking. I'm taking work. We've just been working our asses off, and yeah. then Monique's like was driving for three days. <laughs> yeah. I looked she at my ugly like, Christmas sweater three times while I was packing, <laughs> and I didn't end up fucking packing it. Uh, <laughs> I could have borrowed one. I mean, I have a hot glue gun. I could have whipped up some not. amazing yeah. sweaters. But who has the time? But no way. I was too busy yeah. cutting out a bazillion cookies. You just dump glue on that thing and just start throwing shit <laughs> yeah. at oh, it. Oh, I was great. put it on. Honestly, I was just going to wear it. Just like a puddle of glue with glitter on it, just <laughs> yeah. on the front. Yeah. So it's like some Grew up Honestly, I was just gonna wear a garland today. That's it. And that's it. Yeah. That is nice. Cover up all the goodie bits and just wear garland. You were gonna t shirt ticket? Yeah. Or just no, your garland. Garland ticket. You're just gonna pull an Adam. Just wear garland. That's a really good idea for an ABC party. Yeah. <laughs> so, folks, tell us how, how the fuck are you guys? How do you get down at your Christmas party? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Did anybody go to any parties? Do you have some fun stories? 
Yeah. I know we have friends who had some parties. Yes, we do have some. You know those parties where everybody puts their key in the jar, right? <laughs> we and had then they spin a bottle. We Whoa. had friends, um, right. well, Nick, they had a onesie party, and he said he gained onesies from that party. <laughs> so <laughs> apparently people came in onesies but did not leave, leave in onesies, onesies. so that's fun. They left with nunsies. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know for a fact that um, those things are hot as F, so I'm sure that everybody was hanging out having drinks, and then everybody's balls got sweaty, so they took them off. Yeah, I'm pretty that's sure that's exactly what happened. How yeah. so. that's, that's, how every, that, that's how that happened. That would transcend. Yeah. I think it would go in other directions. I mean, it could go other directions. With, um, well, like you come in wearing one, but you leave wearing five. Yeah. Like you're so close now. I was so cold when I got there. I just kept putting onesies on. Right. And then, I kept five next thing you know, I had two onesies. Three easy. Four easy. You know, four easy. Five easy. Six easy. I found ten easy. Crazy party. Okay. All right. So rattle off some of that good shit. All right, guys, so if you found us, you're probably watching on Facebook. That's right. And you probably knew about us from somewhere. Maybe you saw F this on the back of someone's shirt lately. That's Ooh, a possibility. We got t shirt But you can find us at our website at www.fthispodcast.com. That's right. That's www.fthispodcast.com. And that's the one, if you want to, you can listen to it in your car, on your phone, on your laptop, while you're running around. Who knows? Who knows but what you're doing with That's where we are, and uh, you can download and listen there. Um, our email, if you would like to speak with us, request things, or order awesome merch, it's at fthispodcast at gmail.com. If you found us on Facebook, it's fthisaccount. Um, Instagram is fthisaccount, or hashtag fthispodcast. And Twitter is also at fpodcast. So you probably found us in any of those places and are following us, and we thank you for that. Thank you very much. For your patronage. That's right. What's up, Jamie Kirk from Edmonton in Laurel's Watch Party, I think. Oh, nice. What up? What up, Jamie? Here. Okay. Well, hello. Hello. Thank you for dropping in. Yes. Stay. Stick a while. Do you guys, um, I wanted to say, do you guys have any Christmas traditions or things you do with your family? Do you guys do weird shit? Or Anybody? maybe something that you think is weird. Like sacrificing reindeer? <laughs> <laughs> like sacrificing Jesus Christ on the cross? Um, I know that for Chris and I, growing up, when we were younger, um, we used to have to sing happy birthday to, to Jesus. Yeah. Oh, that is awesome. Christ. You should I like so that. do so, that. So Christmas morning, yeah. Christmas morning before, we were, before we were allowed to open any of our gifts, we'd have to sing... Happy birthday to Jesus Christ. Yeah. Was it like, sing louder? But you guys are yeah, yeah, totally, yeah. totally. That's exactly it. Right. Right. So, did you guys sing it like in Get Down? Or did you sing it no. in both ways? Like we no, do it no, both It is complete no. religion. Jesus can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's because he's dead. Well, you're the ones in the back. <laughs> Dude, and it's not even his birthday on that day. So you guys, that is the we best story so ever. <laughs> Nowadays, yeah. though, yeah, what right. we like to do is open up a gift before, or sorry, on New Year's Eve. Yeah. And it's always PJs, right? So you're totally. wearing those cute little PJs the next day when everybody's that's opening up their gifts. That's our family tradition, and, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I think that's a lot of families' tradition. Yeah, you open yeah. up your jam jams, so you're ready for Santa to see what? you all comes out in your Christmas jam jam. <laughs> Because yeah, oh, Christmas, yeah, Christmas, yeah, and that's Christmas, it. Go to bed. Because Santa would only see me in my birthday yeah. jam jams if I didn't have Christmas jam jams. Because uh, Chris so sleeps naked, so his birthday suit right. or the Christmas jam jams. Right. You take, you Free unwrap the, the jammies and then you put them on and you're like, oh, this is cute. And then you crawl into bed naked. That's right. <laughs> Jesus would have wanted it this way. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm sorry. If, you did, you, if, he, if he doesn't, I don't care. I'm going to crucify him. Stop saying these things. <laughs> what? <laughs> Anyways. Oh, yeah, I, we didn't really have any. It was like maybe just one gift at midnight, and then that was it. Midnight? Yeah. You were allowed to stay out until midnight? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we were saying that. Was, oh, no, yeah. I'm sure they were just telling you it was midnight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or you don't have PJ. It's like, change the time. I'm like, you need to go to bed because I'm going to drink and run presents and have a good time. And you better not walk out of that room until 7 at least. I'm going to do a bunch of blow. And no! Drink a bunch of fucking booze Can and your fucking presents and stay up all fucking night. I don't know what lit. his parent situation is, but that doesn't happen for us. Ever? <laughs> Ever. We can't afford to have that kind of problem. <laughs> what about you, Malcolm? Uh, fuck Christmas. Go out, 
get drunk with some friends, pass out under the Christmas tree. That's right. usually what happens, actually. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Christmas, like I said, do a bunch of fucking blow. Or pass out sitting up. <laughs> do a bunch year, of blow and wrap those presents. <laughs> this year, I'll be, I'll be at work. Yeah, Malcolm has to work, you guys. Oh, oh, this is his day off. This is his day off. So he decided that he was going to record two uh, different podcasts and uh, yeah. spend all day running around. Uh, yeah. He hasn't slept since his shift last night. He looks like a freak right now. Sure. Oh, a zombie. Well, sure, it'll be a great night for you tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I feel like I feel like I'll be okay. You're fine. <laughs> Well, the Dalai Lama gave me a couple of modafinils, so I was kind of mm. flying on a... Talking about Dalai Lama and daffodils. The Dalai Lama gave him daffodils. See, he's really tired. Don't listen to him. I'm he's so crazy. high on daffodils right now. <laughs> I love gonna... flowers. <laughs> so we're going to end the podcast now. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. When you guys put out cookies for Santa, do you put out carrots for the reindeer? We don't, uh, we don't, yeah. We, no, Am yeah. I just Santa so white? We're like so effing considerate. We're like, we were told, we not were just told, for Santa, we gotta feed the reindeer too. We were told at a very young age that Santa didn't exist. Yeah, my dad was oh. very religious. Like, yeah. very, shit, very radar. Religious. <laughs> <laughs> See, keep the magic alive. I think that I would want to keep you guys in this as long as possible. Yeah. <laughs> you know? No, but no, magic not is real. not all right. <laughs> I, was I just, I just, I just think that it's like when it comes to like Santa Claus, I think it all is an imagination. Keeping the imagination yeah. real for children is really fucking important. Mm-hmm. You know, when when they when they finally finally figure out that Santa Claus isn't real on their own, tell them to fuck the fuck off. Santa is still fucking. Don't tell your little brother. Because you're fucking nine year old. You don't live here anymore. It doesn't matter. That's just that's that just, that's just my thought. You know, you want you want the art the the artistic value to stay there. So, with with imagination, it's it's something that's really important. Keep it real. Word. Alive. Keep your dream alive until they're ten years old, and then crush them. Yes. <laughs> no. Eight years kick later, it. kick them out the door. No. 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 I'm going to be like, oh, I, 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 still, I, still, it? I still try to convince Malcolm that Santa's real. If it isn't, you guys are it to him. Some little snot-nosed kid at school is going to break it. Right. Too. And then when that, yes. and then when that kid, and then when that kid tells your kid that 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 Santa isn't real, tell your kid to go punch him in the fucking dick. Because fuck off. That's it. This is mean. Wait till make him make him get a hard on, and then punch him in the dick. That's right. What in the world? <laughs> what are we telling our kids? What is right happening? Now? Don't turn on Merry the other Christmas, person. Merry Christmas, bitches. Welcome to the people. Okay, so we talked about how they've been doing and our Christmas traditions and our weirdness. Does anybody have some f this regarding Christmas? Uh, I love it. Traffic. Fuck. Were you like f? This shit. How many times, where, and when happened? I got one. Go. Go. Vehicle traffic and foot traffic in stores. Absolutely. Vehicle traffic on the streets. Specific foot traffic in stores. That's obvious. Particularly in terrace. Specifically Mm -hmm. today. Yeah, today was brutal. Nonsense, dude. Was it? We we avoided Walmart at all costs. We tried to avoid them all, but they didn't. No. What happened? It was just bullshit. Where did you guys actually Sarah was go? Blood. <laughs> Where did you go? Where did you Looking get like, your Christmas she gift? <laughs> I gotta guess this shit. I've only got so many hours. We don't know. <laughs> we, won't get it out we don't know if we ran over some kids or not. Right. We don't want to know. That we don't know if we ran over an Indian man trying to walk across the street. And when I mean Indian man, a real Indian man, I'm like not, a, not 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 brown skin. Like, like a hey, how are you, Indian, 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 Indian or East Indian? Indian. Like, like brown skin from the middle. Dog East. not feather. Yeah, Don, not a dot, not a dot. That's what they used to say. That's right. <laughs> That's so racist. <laughs> so racist. <laughs> Thank you. Good night. Yeah. I'm going to bed. That's pretty racist, too. Yeah, but he had a, he had a lot of daffodils tonight. So yeah. yeah. I had too many. Bear with him. <laughs> Bear with the racism because of the daffodils. There's still some residual daffodil, daffodil in there lingering. Oh, God. <laughs> Speaking of daffodils, I'm going to so talk Neil, to the, the, lami, the llama over there. How are the customers? <laughs> the llama dama over there. Right on. Bad. No. How's that? Yeah, no, There's a lot of them. They're, it's busy, crazy busy, but long enough oh, to like lose my mind. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. It wasn't bad. No. That's good. But I, I lucked out. I had today off. I have tomorrow off, and of course Christmas off. 
Nice dude. Hey, why don't you brag about it? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But actually, you know, there's a good chance. Cross my fingers, then I might get Christmas off. Yeah, you better get it. My fingers are crossed. I think I, I don't think you, I don't think you're gonna have to and work And my morning. toes. Yeah. I don't think you're gonna have to work tomorrow. Yeah, I honestly, I honestly don't think so. Yeah. They don't. They. Uh, your your. Well, mm, I just know the insides of where you work as well, so I don't. I don't think so. He knows your insides. Oh, so oh. He knows how to work. Yeah. He knows how it all goes down. Oh, so fucking dirty. So um, yeah. So I need to join us. Anyone hanging out with us? I don't know. Okay. Anybody else hanging out with us? Anybody is there at this Christmas situation? Not really. Not yet, at least. Eston just brought up that uh, he was asking what people thought about the new uh, Slipknot album. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, it's about as good as the new Star Wars. Shut up. Did you watch the new Star Wars? No. No. Okay. No. Don't talk about it. Don't get fun. I'm going to watch it. <laughs> Eventually. On Blu ray. No, no, no. I want to watch it. I just don't want to hear about it. No spoilers. No spoilers. Man, I can't is that what believe. Spoilers? Yeah, this fucking guy over here. How about this fucking guy over here? Yeah, he would have fucking tell that he would be with, with, without us. Oh, yeah, he yeah. saw oh, Star Wars watched. without us. Yeah, I went and got a ticket for it. The <laughs> <laughs> cheap watcher. I, I still have the ticket. So I mean, he oh. wants to be a part of the, this podcast, but he has no respect for our friendship as a team. <laughs> oh. Hey, it was a spur of the moment thing. Oh, spur of the moment? That's moments? what Peter's always saying. Spur of the moment. I can feel the wind from that. Can you guys hear and see the robot flying around there? Hey, you know what? I don't work on Christmas Eve. Hey, you don't work tomorrow. Yay! Yay. It's a Christmas I'm miracle. I'm getting wasted. <laughs> it's a miracle. Party game is. Christmas I just did miracle. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> You're blowing stuff off the table. Oh, shit. Oh. Aww. Nothing does it here. I got it from Wish. Around, and then it yeah. just I was preparing yeah. myself for the nine hundred dollar purchase. <laughs> <laughs> that thing is pimp. Fuck yeah, I dig it. It's the best sixty bucks for something I didn't really want. I ever smell. Yes, no. 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 I a couple talked years about ago, my these were worth the last thousands. episode, and ever since then, I've had amazing customers, people who were there when they said they were going to be there. What else? What, how much drugs? A lot carry? of a lot more orders. We shut off orders and we got tons more. Nice. Yeah. And then what else? Nothing bad, uh -huh. huh? Oh, I won some things and friends totally helped shoot. us celebrate Christmas. That's about it. Yeah. Me and Jabbar are gonna do that with Santa and it's gonna be called Girls Before Ho Ho Ho's. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I like it. Like <laughs> Dude, you know Santa the Santa thing is in the mall here too. We should go to in the big Santa chair. Yeah, we should go down to the street Santa And it's, it's free. Gone. It's well it's not free, it's by donation. Okay. okay. Yeah. Wait, I'll, I'll donate I'll donate a high five on the other picture. A food donation? Yeah. 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 Like uh non perishable. I've yeah. got some canned food. Oh, some no. I got get that show. I got some canned food. <laughs> <show. laughs> yeah. Do this. Alright. So uh, next is we got the urban fucking work of the day. All right, all right. So wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Is it dirty? No. Okay. okay. Well, we gotta warn people now. <laughs> I got. I know. <laughs> Everyone and their baby ears. Oh, baby ears over here. <laughs> I can't handle it today. It's gonna be your fucking bathroom. Obama, oh, eat your heart out. Obama. Oh, <laughs> 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 that is an impressive line. Yeah, you go. Oh, oh. Ah. Don't make me take it back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the urban word of the day is actually. Oh! oh so it almost landed. I almost got it. You almost got it where it started. So it's not, it's not, it's not even a word of the day. Today. It's, uh, it's an acronym. It's called BAMF. BAMF? BAMF. Isn't that the sound that Nightcrawler makes when he teleports? Oh. Yeah. I know what it stands for. It's, it's it's bam. 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 That's the sound that Nightcrawler makes when he teleports. Bam. That's meant. Yeah. You're That's how it's written out. Badass bad motherfucker. That's okay. right. Is that really it? That. That's bad ass what it is. Badass motherfucker. Badass motherfucker. You learn something new every day. That's right. These are delicious. Yeah, they're pretty good. I'm enjoying it. What is that? You're drinking your dude. Yeah. Yeah. Your sister sent you nude. Ooh. Nah. 
Keep, him, keep that shit to yourself, okay? <laughs> if you're gonna be my brother in law, keep it to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> we better keep these on hand then. So, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I love this thing. I love it. It's like, I know. I'm scared. I want to put a camera on it. Like if my hair gets cut in it. It's <laughs> not all you think. I think it's unreasonable, but is it? What is it? Oh, 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 dude. It's so good. I tattooed it. Get tattooed by a fucking drum. Let's do it. Drum strike. That's what I was telling her. Put a fucking tattoo machine on it. Don't even say it too loud. Siri's listening. Oh, yep. Shh. That's why I don't buy iPhones. People, sister, big sister. All the uncles are listening. Shh. Sneaky uncles. Everyone who's listening to the podcast right now, everyone who's watching, everyone is saying that the flying robot is way too loud. Oh, really? The one person. Oliver's fucking it up. Oh. <laughs> Where's the camera? I'm coming in for a drone strike. Oh shit. Out of control. Out of control. I love this thing. And here we come. I can do it. So. Oh. Come on, you can do it. Oh, fuck, that hurt. Is it in your ass? <laughs> 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 it's in your ass. It's in your ass. Also reminds me of that 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 fucking video that you've been sharing quite a bit lately, Malcolm. Oh yeah. Motherfucker. You're my motherfucker. You're my motherfucker. Oh, I love that. That's the like when I left my keys at Truckadero's one time. I was like, hey, did I leave my keys there? They're like, oh, what do they look like? I'm like, they're the ones that say fast as fuck. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're here. <laughs> nice. that, re that reminds that me. That That also reminds me of the the uh, the pussy wagon you know, from fucking Kill Bill. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. The one that says pussy wagon. Yeah. <laughs> so instead of coming up with Sean Kadisms this week, um, I was actually thinking of all the ones that everyone's been tagging me in, Ooh. which has been fun because we started to think. So now every time someone sees some weird shit or like a weird random thought. Um, people have been like, people's been like, that's not how you Dude, speak. Dude, that's how strong Terry lost his job. <laughs> that's right. I'm going to go home now. I'm done. Broken out again. Boy. Who are you calling people? People. New people. Be like, you know. <laughs> people have been tagging me in memes and sending them to me. And so I want you guys to share your favorite Shantayism. Okay, I want to start this off. I'm sorry, but I do. Um, it's um, I saw this, I saw this meme, and it was of uh, uh, Keanu Reeves <laughs> when he played Ted from Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, yeah. and then it was Keanu Reeves playing John Wick. And the Shantaeism with that is is that if Ted went to military school, this is what happened. Did you hear John Wick? So the, in the alternate universe of, you know, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, he became John Wick. Did anybody else see that meme floating around on Facebook? Yeah. So what do you think became of Alex Winters, man? Nothing. Bill S. Preston Esquire. He disappeared because he can't exist without He that. became a vampire as well. Ah. <laughs> Good job. Better than the that happens. No. Actually, it You know what, Malcolm? That is besides the point entirely. Because <laughs> vampires can time travel, man. Neil just killed it. Neil just killed it. Don't take the wind out of Neil's 
Bill and Ted. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. Dude, we, we were forgetting the premise too. That Bill and Ted can fucking time travel. That's right. That's Bill right. Ted can totally See? time travel. There you go. See? So he went back in time and became a vampire. And then he couldn't time travel anymore. No. So Bill and Ted's bogus journey doesn't exist. No. It doesn't. But there's multiple <laughs> timelines. I don't know. There's multiple universes. Yes. This week. Yeah. Last week. Yeah, yeah, Dad. Gosh, I can't remember what it was. I, I remember I, I You told me what earlier it. today. Oh, yeah, what the heck did it go like? It was like if you shave <laughs> how did if it If you go? shave your front butt but not your back butt it's a butt mullet. <laughs> right? No, it was more like if you shave the front door but not the back, then it's a butt mullet. There you go. <laughs> Yeah. That's it. <laughs> Party in the back. More dreads. Business in more the like front. dreads, I think. Shreds in the back. Will not. Some dirty ass. Like dirty. Yeah. Dingleberries. Dingleberries. The Billy Ray Cyrus. The Billy Ray Cyrus. <laughs> That's what we like to call around these parts. They call it dingle dreads. Dingle dreads. Making a note. Under Shantaeism. Dingle dreads. Dingle dreads. I like that. Dingle dreads. I smell bad, though. Oh. Nobody else has some weird thoughts. What do you else? think they smell like? Tom Sizemore? Maybe. <laughs> the inside of Mando's helmet. Inside of Mando's helmet. Blue cheese. Smells like blue cheese. Well, Mando cheese. Smells like Greer. 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 Smells like Greer. Like like drones with like fucking G.I. Joe launching missiles. Dude, you gotta be easy to integrate. You gotta put firecrackers on. Yeah. Nerds. <laughs> Nerds. <laughs> Nerds. <laughs> yeah. No. I just Roman Candles. Yeah, yeah, Delivered Roman Candles. Candles with drones. So, yeah. Neil, do you want to get nerdy or what? Claymore. Um, I guess I should. Drop some of that nerdy I, shit. I, I, I had a few ideas about what to bring up, but it, I don't want to bring it up because you guys didn't see the movie. It was going to be yeah, Star don't Wars. Even, don't even do it. No, 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 I don't want any of it. Please. No, I'll leave, yeah. <laughs> no. if you I'll start punch you in the mouth. <laughs> straight up in the teeth. I'll get your dick hard and I'll punch you in the teeth. I'll get your dick hard. <laughs> so, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll get your dick hard. Punch your heart. Something we've all probably watched. Okay, do it. Watchmen. Oh, of course. Yes. No, yeah. I haven't. You haven't watched Irishman. The show? Irishman? I actually watched part of that. I watched part of the Irishman. I watched part of it three and a half hours long. Fell asleep and woke up again. I left the house. I think I watched like 20 minutes of the house twice. Christopher did. He left the house and came back and it was still on. They should have made this a new TV series. This is nine fucking episodes. It would have been. Eat your heart out, Peter Jackson. Peter Jackson? Fuck you, Peter Jackson. That's what Scorsese was saying. He's like, fuck you, Jackson. Oh, I'll make a nine hour gangster movie. That's right. <laughs> That's what he did. I fuck do you, what I want. Yeah. I don't even care. I'm going to make, the, I'm gonna make the gangster Marvel Universe gangster. So I'm going to make this fucking nine hour movie. Slash people moving. Pick up. No, thank you. So, Neil. Oh, oh yeah. So, yes. so <laughs> I don't know. I watched it. I thought it was a pretty decent show. They're getting a second season. It was yeah. just announced that they were doing that, so I was surprised by that. But it's a pretty good show if you like the movie or comic of Watchmen. It's from a legendary um, comic book artist slash writer, I guess, and Alan Moore. Mm. So he doesn't do any of that anymore. He kind of is really against the commercialization of his former IP, but I think they did a good job with it. It was a pretty good show. Nice. What about the new Joker? Do we have any? Joker. No. We See didn't yeah? talk about it in depth. Have you seen that? No. no. We no. talked about how it probably we can't talk watch about it. it. We can't talk about it again. No. No. You gotta watch it. It's you gotta good. watch it, though. You gotta watch it. It's really good. Yeah. That's all I'm gonna say about yeah. it. It's deep. 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 It's deep. It's Shit's weak. I don't want to get offended. <laughs> <laughs> well, you won't get hard. It's very you guys offended hardly. It's kind of uh, cathartic. It's kind of cathartic towards the end. Actually. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, watch it's it. a re really. If you want to get it, if you want to get offended, watch it. If you don't want to get offended, watch it. If you want to get offended, think, watch the new Star it's okay. Wars movie. Anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out what it is. If you want to get triggered, watch the new stuff. I can't even, I can't even, I hate the word 
word triggered. I get triggered from the word triggered. What about the solo story? <laughs> I think about story. all the people that get triggered the solo and how dumb their faces are. Was that good? I'm sorry. I dug it. I dug it. Yeah, Woody Harrelson alone made that movie for me. I don't know. Chewie was pretty badass too. Well, oh, definitely. But Woody Harrelson, not Woody Harrelson. Not Woody, Woody Harrelson's new Woody Harrelson. You gotta love Woody Harrelson. I, I don't. Say Woody I could care Harrelson. less for that part. Dude. Woody Harrelson. That's not it. That I <laughs> could care less. Why are they making vodka <laughs> out of <laughs> corn? Is what might have. Um, because right. of hillbillies, man. Is that how they have and how hillbilly feels? I think that's what it's getting. I think that's what all right? some ancient because civilizations they, they, they used to take corn, ferment it, and it was like, let's see how this does. Ash. Oh gosh, it's Stop really trying like to everything first nation feeling. No, I'm <laughs> yeah, you're about trying to reverse cultures. Like, <laughs> 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 okay, so the, the first nation, <laughs> the first nation of Mexico, the first nation of Mexico, one of the first nations of Ireland. There you go. Hey, why not, man? Yeah. Come on. Take, stop taking vodka away from the Irish. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. Let them have it, man. Stop taking German. vodka away from the Russians. I thought it was Fuck. the Russians. Of the stop world. giving drones to Syrians. Right, girl. Let's take it away stop. from dividing people. <laughs> so, they're going to ban drones, and I'm going to have a whole army of them. Yeah. Start collecting out. Yeah, exactly. They will. <laughs> stop taking away Syrians from Syrians. Yeah, leave them over there. Leave them. <laughs> Stop refuting Syrians. <laughs> refuting? Yeah, we have too many refugees. <laughs> uh, any more nerdy shit, man? Oh, no, nothing like that. Are you fucking kidding me? We had three <laughs> no. weeks. Three weeks? <laughs> <laughs> three <laughs> weeks? Yeah, but what about Death Stranding? What about things like Death Stranding? Oh, gosh. Here we go. It's the cats of video games. <laughs> Whoa! I can't what you know. even. Okay, okay, okay. Death Stranding is you were so walking. <laughs> 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 you said. just went Broadway, man. Yeah. Like, yeah. I know. Death Stranding is the cats of video games because it's so weird. The, the guy behind that game is so. Flamboyant? Well, no, he's no. his just his thought process. He's like, I know like, I was going to give really you Silent Hill, but I'm going to give you Sherpa. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I love that you just brought video games in. If you don't like carrying things, I love you won't it. like this. Yeah, it was, it was like he plays Norman Reedus, who works for Amazon Prime in the post-apocalyptic world. I'm in. Hey, I'm just gonna say so, it right now. Man. It's, it's, you had me at Jeff it's Bezos. Walking, it's a walking simulator, okay? Yeah. I, I should you not. Walking. Walking. I was yeah. almost all the way in again. It has Mads Mikkelsen in it. If I'm in. in again. <laughs> If you're a mailman, you say walk eating. <laughs> oh shit! You shop on Amazon. I'm gonna throw up. You know a mailman. Yeah, you'll love it. You'll love it. <laughs> That's pretty true. Three mailman. It's, yeah. it's a walking <laughs> simulation. Yeah. Walking. Walk if you want to get a mailman, for walking. Oh. It's super walk So are we gonna deaf it? No, I don't think so. Deaf it up. You don't have anything to deaf about? Oh, I got a bunch, but. Well, it's time. Give him some whiskey. What did I tell you, Woody? Have this discussion. No, pass me a Give me a couple shots of whiskey. Give me Sailor Jerry. No, put some Sailor Jerry. We should make a Bob Burgers cake every week, like a Defa cake. We decided after the last situation involving a customer that we would have dick cakes on hand at all times. Yes. So then now we can just start giving people cakes that look like dicks when they're being a dick. Tell them to eat it. Eat a dick. Instead of giving them their order, we just give them dicks. And just be like, sucking. I have dicks on my dicks. But we I have made Bob Burgers cakes. So you do the shitty cousin and sneak my cake. We made one and just said fuck. Here's a cake that's Oh yeah, we'll totally write your name on it. Yeah, we won't find it until they're like fucking six years old. Like shuffleboard. Fucking asshole. This motherfucker drew a dick on my arm. I didn't see it. He gave me this tattoo 50 years ago. It's snuck in there. Yeah, snuck in a dick. In a rose. He made sure it wouldn't show up until your skin got wrinkly. It was like a mad magazine folded. And now it's a dick. Hey, that's a dick. I'm sorry, guys. This Christmas episode is 
just we're all over jingle balls. Right? <laughs> we were trying to like keep it like real cool and like, professional in the other see. episodes. This one, nope. We're just all tired. Because we are all tired, overworked. Yeah. <laughs> I've had a drink. Couple of them at the table, I guess. I don't know. I don't know, but it's a good time. I guess. It's Christmas. It's not organized. I hope you're hanging out, listening to us, just feeling like you know I should be there too. Enjoying the holidays, people. We're enjoying some time together here at the table. I'm with I'm with some loved ones that I enjoy being with. Thank you. You know what I mean? And I think that's the most important part about this whole the whole aspect of Christmas for me. Is, is making sure that my kids are happy and make sure that I'm the one that I love. Oh, yeah. Taking it on home, Narber. Oh, I mean, I have to. I have to. Yeah. Everything else about the every everything else about the season doesn't. Oh. It's just so commercialized and so that's all each other right now. You guys, yeah. I hated Christmas until I had kids. Or and you know what? You know who yeah. makes Christmas awesome is Chris because he loves Christmas. Yeah. I think your mom so wipes off on you. Oh, Their yeah. mom loves Christmas, dude. She is on the Hallmark Channel from like November 1st on. <laughs> nice. Right? Yeah, nice, dude. If you go She's to Christopher Monique's mom's house anytime within the holiday season, it is yeah. on a holiday movie. Some holiday candy cane love story. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Every day. Yeah. Every day. Yeah. And you know channel. what? That's cool, man. It's happy and she loves it. Yeah. Like, she's about Christmas. Yeah. yeah. Completely. Yeah. But, I mean, but that, that, I mean, that's what I mean. That's what what, what what instilled with me. Like, there are certain things about Christmas that I that I need to have for the Christmas time to be real to me. Like, there are movies that I have to watch, right? And there are some people that I have to fucking see. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I when you don't, see. and then when you when you don't get to see, see. see when you don't get to see certain people, then they have to be with the other half. You know what I mean? Because we're missing out. Yeah. You know what I mean? We we We're miss we our miss, people. We miss some of our people. One of our people got married yeah. this this past weekend. We missed that. We were supposed to be a part of that. We yeah. get to be a part of that. Shout out, man. Yeah, yeah, really love. yeah congrats, Brianna and Ryan. Ooh. Brianna is now Yay. Brianna Jones. So that's the Jones family. Yeah. Swan Jawan. And um yeah. yeah, she's our sister from another Mista. That's she's right. She's like our family, she's a sister. <clears throat> and um they just got married on the twenty first. Yeah. And we were supposed to be there, but um, vehicular issues and weather and life. just life got in the way. And that's okay and we love her and she loves us. And we're missing family members, of course. My daughter is in California and so she was with my family at the wedding and everything that makes me super happy. Yeah. Yeah. But we're here and we get to celebrate this with my sister. And, and that's the to... first time for yeah. us yeah. all together. Well, for me because I have never celebrated Christmas with um, all of Christopher's family first. together. Yeah. Yeah. That's my so, first, so it's good. I get to celebrate it with my nieces. I get to celebrate with them. Yeah, know. all the babies together. Cool. We all celebrate. deck the halls. Yeah, totally. right? oh, Except I'm missing out on a daughter, too. Yeah. 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 I got a daughter with my dad, and Monique's got a daughter with her dad, right? Yeah. Yeah, she was with us last Christmas, so it's only fair. Trading off. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. The, the, the whole co co parenting thing. Right. I mean, it works right. I mean, it's good, but you can do that, but you can make it work like that. Yeah. 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 It makes things. Yeah, it's just share. It, that's that. Yeah, it makes, that's it makes the love. It makes the love <laughs> round and real. Yeah, round and real. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Aww. Round and I like that. Yeah. You know, if you, if you can't have a wheel. Like, oh, oh shit! shit. Bring it home. Make like it rhyme. Wait, right. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, he can spit some <laughs> clear wheel. So do we? Do we, do we have any fucking dirty shit that we can talk about? Like, what do you mean by dirty? <laughs> dirty? I'm not, 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 no, I'm not going to leave the table when you do that. <laughs> I said nerdy. Oh. You. Dirty, nerdy. Compromise. <laughs> to, to the level playing field of dirty. What about no, stuff that, that we dig? Oh, dig, dig this. What do you guys dig? What are you guys digging home? Well, I kind of dropped mine at the so you can drop it again. Yeah, what this is a new group of people. The daffodil wore off. I can't remember. Oh, the daffodils. Are <laughs> I'll start. He needs more daffodils over here. I'll start off. Then. Go ahead. Have okay. a chance to think. So I just recently came across an artist, and I shared it to you guys like a couple of weeks ago. I was like, man, I've been listening to this guy. He does a lot of psychedelic rock. He just came up with a psychedelic rock album. Oh, and then man. I looked up who he was, and I was yeah. like. 
Holy shit, this guy is in Stranger Things. Yeah. I have DMT. Steve. What? <laughs> what? 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 DMT. Okay, we're stopping the show. <laughs> 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 Hi. Hi. We're going to have an experience. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to last like 30 seconds. Are we going to go like Christmas lights? We're going to go lick no, Christmas no, lights. No, the Christmas lights are going to come to us. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it on home. We're going to go to another universe and see Christmas yeah. lights. Jesus. Oh, yeah. We might see Jesus, too. <laughs> Wait, so Neil, what's this guy's name? So, it's uh, Steve Harrington from Stranger Things. That's right. Oh, yeah. He said Steve like Harrington, guy. and I was, was like, like, hi, I'm Alan Harrington from Alan Harrington. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't we be the Playboy Play 2 fan? <laughs> okay, so yeah. Steve Harrington. Yes, yeah, Steve Harrington. His, I can't his... help it. I hear that word, and I go all out. Yeah. He's time. performing under the artist name DJO. DJ oh. oh, he's, the he's actually known as so. <laughs> <laughs> He's pretty good. Because everyone's like, he's a guy, and everyone goes, oh. Lately. That's right. Oh. Hang on. All right. Go. 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 Sorry. Somebody else go. That's fine. Yeah, what I have literally nothing that I dig right now because I'm too busy to dig. Something that's maybe new or. I dig news. Yeah, actually, um, it's my first time trying these nude vodka sodas, uh, peach flavor. I used to drink nudes all the time, you know, no sugar, no yeah. sugar. Um, yeah. I cannot drink drinks with sugar. And uh, yeah, and then I switched to the gin smash, the tail spins. Yeah, and so they didn't have my drink at the liquor store, so I decided to try these ones, and they're actually pretty fucking good. Yeah, so she totally got some nudes and then passed yeah. them around the table. Yeah, passed the nudes around the table, you know, the peach cat. Yeah, so we've been giving her some slack. <laughs> they're really good. The only nudes I'll share. I got them for the first time at the bistro. That's where I had them. Nice. I was teaching a class there, and then... We were having nudes because we were doing the no sugar thing too. Right. Nice. And so they're like, have a nude. And I was like, yeah. And then I was like, I'm feeling it. And it's not like, why? It's only one and there's nothing in it. Yeah, exactly. I nothing can't. but vodka. And then, I kind of wish we me. had White Claw up here just to see what all the buzz to is about. To see if it's pretty, it's like similar. What even are you? What? White claw. White claw. Well, Neil is it's... a white girl, and in Neil's body, I can't wait to waste it. Okay. He's like, I've been thinking about white claw since I saw it online. No, white I, I see it. memes with white claw all the time. It's supposed to be like yeah. another sugar-free drink. It's like, like this. Just fades. Oh, yeah. Nice. Uh, yeah. yeah. And all my friends back home, they talk about it, or they share the memes like it's totally a white girl thing. Nice. Everybody's hanging out in their Uggs and jean skirts, drinking uh, drinking white. Yeah. <laughs> and then me and Neil are like up here in the Great White North, wearing our Uggs and our denim skirts, drinking nudes. <laughs> like your waist, like your waist, Maybe, waist I, am, maybe I am a white girl. I'm the only person wearing <laughs> an <laughs> ugly sweater, <laughs> saying "Get lit." <laughs> oh shit! That's all right, girlfriend. <laughs> you know what you guys should do? <laughs> well, okay. All right. All right, so I will I'll, spit my meat all over the table. <laughs> <laughs> so what I've been digging on this this past week is um, Mr. Trump. Mr. Trump has been impeached. Impeached. <laughs> 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 oh, that's right. oh my god! Where did that voice come from? <laughs> <laughs> that's tremendous. I think it came yes. from above. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> It still has to get voted on, though. It still yeah. has to get voted on. No, they voted on his impeachment. They're going to vote on whether or not he's going to be indicted. And who's going to take his place yes. if that happens. If that happens. But the but fact, the fact yeah, of the matter is. is that he's been impeached and he will never be able to hold a body of uh, political standing whatsoever, <laughs> ever again. So That's fuck fun. you very much. Get your orange ass out of here. Thank don't you. let the door out. Bye. 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 There's a lot of people Google. like arguing about it too, and then all the people that love Trump are like, "Well, it doesn't matter." Hey, so how do I love it? And then everyone else like us are like, "Get the fuck out!" Bye. <laughs> Bye. Go home. Good time. Good Get time. off our planet. Go back home. Yeah. Go back home. No, I, 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 I didn't believe it when I first saw the first article, and then they just started showing up on Facebook. Just one after the other, one after the other. Yeah. And so yeah. I started googling it, and there was more and more and more. I was like, "This is." How much happened? Okay. No. I've been so busy in my mom's life, I didn't even hear about it. <laughs>
<laughs> I haven't been on Facebook in a few days, to be honest. I see you're not missing anything. You're not missing anything. <laughs> yeah. you, you never miss much. Right. Yeah. No, you miss them. Just, that that woman's the woman's still screaming at the cat. Yeah. <laughs> what uh, the fuck is that all about? <laughs> I don't even get that. I don't even know. I don't even know. There have been some funny things. There's some funny ones though. There, oh, yeah. there are one or two. This is there really are one or two. Ones. There's some really shitty ones though too. Holy oh, fuck, man. are they horrible? <laughs> for like every I want to like, 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 like square diamonds. that motherfucker and kick him in the hole. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Four years later. Four years later. All right. Welcome to Bikini Bottom. Okay, so so we talked about that, and there's another thing that we've been talking about for what like two months are our uh for your ears only songs yes these we're, are the songs old. that we super love but we don't listen to in front of or with other people because we're ashamed yes you're guilty pleasures, pleasures for your ears for only. our ears only for our ears only well, that's only. like a 007 title movie title for your ears only or your dick only. <laughs> well, need like a graphic at that point where like the camera kind of zooms in on your and, dick. And then, <laughs> sure, on uh, Neil's dick. And then my dick can shoot it. <laughs> <laughs> and instead of red, it's white that comes down. Yeah. I just like, oh. like oh, 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 Welcome. Yeah. What's your uh, what's your guilty? What's one song? One song. One guilty pleasure song. Right. Fuck me. That's not a that's song. Not a, that's not a song. <laughs> Fuck me. By who? That's true. <laughs> How hard? How hard is it? Ah, uh, let's see. Fuck. I don't know, man. I guilty pleasure song. Guilty pleasure song. Um. <laughs> Go ahead, Mike. I'm sorry. As soon as that was mentioned. Uh -huh. Um, it's probably not like what anybody else is thinking, but uh, there's one song that um, I can't play it around my kids, obviously. Um, I fucking love the song, and uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know, the song title will say everything. Um, I Want to Eat You <laughs> by Di Ambert. <laughs> The Utwerd stole my teeth idea, right? Uh, uh, right? So, I don't know, like, it's, it's one of those uh, guilty <laughs> pleasure songs, if you would like to see, <laughs> but in a different okay. sense of the word. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Entirely different sense. I, I right? actually kind of dig that. I do. I, 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 I love the I don't yeah. know what that is. It's a uh, like, <laughs> like hip-hop EDM. Kind yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sort of Smells like, like fish, tastes like chicken. <laughs> <laughs> yes, one, Neil, you want to pull some of that up and play it? Yeah, yeah, oh. I'm like, huh? Uh, I would like to see them like fun in concert. <laughs> well, we'll have to, we'll have to dance around later. It smells like fish. <laughs> tastes like chicken. That sounds okay. like fun. I'm going to play like a clip <laughs> of it. Okay. You're gonna play a real one. Neil's already got it. I'm He's like, oh, yeah, this, this is on my same list. <laughs> Shit, this is on my 972. No, which one is it? I want to plug this in. I want to eat you. I want to instrumental that came up. Plug this in. Oh, yeah, they do. Plug it in your computer, Neil. Yeah. Now I'm gonna get all red and die. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, Monique, you brought that to the table. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> reverse, reverse, okay. revive, revive. This is why I'm this new when the windows are up. It's called Girl, I Want to Eat You. Girl, I Want to Eat You. Oh, yeah. okay. Here we go. Well, I only have an instrumental. Let's Here, I got it. I'm gonna play it right now. Oh. What's the library now? Yeah, that's all I found, too. Here, I'm gonna, we're gonna, okay, start for the technical difficulties. It wasn't difficult at all. <laughs> I think I found it. Matchy, match. Technical, maybe. I gotta ask you, because I know that you'll know what the song is if I say what I'm gonna say. <laughs> when you're gonna say it. Then we'll tell everybody what it is. <laughs> I don't know. I think people can hear you. I know that. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> 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 What even are you even? This is been playing. Okay, you you could probably play it on yours. Uh, I can't. I don't know why I can't play it on mine. It's the same thing. 
It's probably all the porn I downloaded on your laptop. <laughs> oh, yeah, that explains why it's so slow right now. It's, it's not really slow. No, no, no. I don't download porn. Yes. Deal. I stream. No, Who downloads porn now? What are you fucking Who dinosaur? Who the, fuck, the fuck downloads porn, man? You watch it on your VHS. Right? It's like, yeah. maybe only yeah. just doomsday people do. Because they're like, well, I gotta own this shit. <laughs> I gotta <laughs> print it off. I gotta print it off. Picture frame by frame. <laughs> and I'm gonna flip through it. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm just gonna mags. pull up. What is wrong with you? Die and word. Oh, she found it. Oh, she was at her yeah. just. It's so catchy, dude. Yeah. It just makes you wanna, like, smooth and gross. And, you know. <laughs> Dude, did you ever watch Chappie? These two are in that movie. Yeah. Oh, I love them! Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Right. The girl and the guy? Yeah. yeah. My dad showed me them like yeah. years ago. Right? He's like, dude, you guys gotta check this out. They're so fucking weird. You're gonna love it. Yeah, yeah. they're so That's weird. That's the unburned. I didn't know. It's, yeah. it's a new clip. Aren't they from Big Town? They're from South Africa. Yeah. Or South Africa. Yeah, yeah. South Africa. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they're from Cape Town. Yeah, totally, dude. Yeah, you can't oh, listen to that. Yeah, you can't Can you listen imagine Danica saying something about panty popping? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, no, no. She goes to daycare talking about her panties being on fire. Oh my god, no, or it smells like fish. It tastes like chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and they'd be like, she's talking about food, right? Right. <laughs> like, oh, okay. Halibut. We, we eat lots of halibut. <laughs> 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 All right, Neil, what's yours? <laughs> okay, so mine is. Forever by Chris Brown. Whoa, that's so, a deep so, cut. Yeah, so yeah, because no it, it's a guilty about. pleasure because <laughs> everybody knows what the fuck he did. What did he do, Neil? Oh my god, so Neil, you're like, what did I cannot listen to Chris Brown in public because yeah. girls will give me dirty looks. Yeah, because he fucking beat <laughs> up Rihanna. Yeah, I get it, I yeah. get it. What's the song? But what's the song then? Forever yeah. by Forever. Chris this Brown. This fucking guy. So, this fucking guy. There's a reason... I have two reasons for it. Go. Okay, the second uh, reason is because it's on one of my favorite Office episodes ever. Of course. Niagara oh. Falls, or Niagara is the way I think it's called. That's the Jim and Pam wedding episode. Mm -hmm. And the second reason I like it is because um, I actually really loved it when it came out. Uh -huh. Because I used to work night shifts at a gas station, and all we had was the fucking radio. And you like to beat on bitches? No. <laughs> okay, no, so, so, no. So, it, it came out. Right? How did he I, I, this, was, this, was, this was like a couple of years before that shit happened, I believe. But, you know, I'd be we working. Would help. We would help. I was, I was working at, I was a lonely bachelor working the night shift, Aww. and this song came on, I'd be like, oh, this is a really neat song. Oh, that's so white girl of you. And we could listen to that. White girls listen. Never, never mind. <laughs> Can we get a listen? You want to listen to it? I don't know what you guys. I don't know. You don't know. You don't know what the song sounds like. What is the song called? I don't know. If I uh, forever. Mean. Forever, yeah. No, just forever. forever. By Chris. Oh, I love that man. This yeah. one. And for, like, every person in the world, like Shanti is such an idiot. <laughs> okay, uh, I know the song. I don't know. I didn't know yep. that it's called. Let me go take care of Bronx. Yeah. Okay. That's the dorky. Guys, bro. Thanks. Nice. Lock it up. Lock it up, I say. It was nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. I'll see you again pretty leave, I'm sure. See, is this what you do? No. <laughs> I'm not that white. <laughs> <laughs> Nor am I that nigga. <laughs> so that's that song. Okay, I know yeah. what you're talking about. Yeah. I yeah. know. I like it, Neil. I like that. I like that about you. I like it a lot. Okay, I got mine. Go. Right, go. Uh, it's that fucking Ed Sheeran song. <gasps> Which one? Which one? He loves what, what that ginger. It? What is that fucking... It's the big one, man. I don't know what it's called. He has a ton of big ones. Right? Dude, I didn't even know. Shape of your body? Yeah. The shape, shape of you. you. Oh, shape of that you. That one. That's right. You know why I know that? 
This one? Because, you know, yeah, dude. Yeah, that's so fucking catchy. But well, you okay. know, the first time I heard it, it wasn't even him. It was another guy that was doing an acoustic cover of it. Yeah. And he did a good, like a really I, no, I saw, then, I heard Mercury's before I heard this song. So, and then, yeah. and then, and then he played this one. I saw this video on YouTube where he played this. Yeah. So I, he had a oh, no, no, he had effects pedals and he built the song oh, himself on the go. Dude, you gotta check that out. Hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah. Yeah. So he would like strum, yeah, yeah. one guitar riff, and, and then and then he would hum. switch one part, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then he would hum like a uh, harmony. Yeah. Mm. And then he would play another guitar riff, and he, he would hit repeat. Yeah. And then he would start a singing. Just rolled. <laughs> he built, he built, like he built that's the song as it went, and then yeah. he started singing. And that's what turned me on to it, and that's when I decided that's the Yeah. Okay. I, I thought yeah. it was great. As soon as I heard that, when that's you built it, I was like, this dude's got skills, man. I like it. And you know what? At this point, I don't even feel guilty when I listen to it. <laughs> no, no, no. I think it. No, no. 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 You, so. you let the freak flag fly. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Ed Sheeran's my boy. Ed Sheeran. Nice. Ed Sheeran's my boy. And he was in Game of Thrones. Yeah, yeah. he was. I, I only knew that that was Ed Sheeran because I was cleaning the house. And insane. was someone at the house? I can't remember. But I was like, I got to put some music on. So. I put YouTube on Obviously, and I was I just put like 2019 best songs or some shit yeah. a playlist thing and Ed Sheeran was on it all over and part of me like five times yeah <laughs> that's the only reason why I know who that is and why that's not just all over it was it's face neck and chest okay babe it's your turn I guess it's my turn um so this one's a cute story Aww. okay so uh, this is a guilty pleasure. Oh, is this your it's, notes? Yeah, this is my notes. Dude, he was notes, so dude. hard up with this situation. This is the only part of the podcast he took notes so he could talk about it. <laughs> 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 I, don't, I, don't, I don't take notes. He was like, guilty pleasures? I got I, this. I, 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 I don't take notes on my list. I don't take notes on anything, ever, ever. He's like, I, I'm, I'm like, guilty I'm about I come these to the, five I come things. to this show with nothing. Like I said, I'm the least responsible one in this fucking group that all I have to do is rant. And that's my fucking thing, right? So I don't come to the fucking show with notes what's so fucking Dude, I come with You're less than you. Because you have a rat. <laughs> I, I I you wait for somebody to call card. in. You wait for somebody to call in, and then you just talk to them. And that's it. Like, sometimes <laughs> I don't even talk to them. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's your fault, though. You should be talking to them. That's true, yeah. <laughs> okay, so this time I brought notes. Okay. All right? So it's uh, Post Malone's um, and Swally's Sunflower. Hell yeah. From, uh, Let's hear it. It's pretty good. Pull it up, Swally. So no, I, I got it. It's um, oh, he's got it cute already. Just <laughs> <laughs> I bet I know what it is. My daughter loves Post Malone. <laughs> I like the one he did with the uh, Aussie. Into the Spider Verse. I only know this because of Spider Man. Really? Yeah, it's that a what off? It's on. It's on the Spider Man movie. It's not on his. When this song comes on, on, all it says Spider Man. Yeah. So that's the whole thing. That's so, so okay. So I, I went to go test it because she does it when the movie's on. Yeah. She'll hear the. No, no, but it was weird though. She'll she'll hear the song that that the the, the Ooh. and she'll be like, oh, it's, <laughs> she'll come running out of where whatever room she's in, and she'll come running and it's Iron Man, yeah. and then she'll stand there and she'll watch it for a bit, right? But I was in the car, so I was like, okay, well, let's, let's see, let's see how much she knows it. So then I turned it on, but. I started from the very beginning. She didn't hear any of that. She heard the beat. Yeah. She heard <laughs> she heard this. Yeah. That's what <laughs> she I heard hear. that. And I hear in the back. She didn't hear the A part. She didn't hear the music. She, hear the she heard the beat. And she was like, Spider-Man! And I was like, ah, oh, that's my fucking kid. Of course it's my fucking kid. She heard the fucking beat. And that was it. And she was like, Spider-Man. And I was like, fucking love this kid. Fucking love this kid. Because, like, you catch the, you catch the fucking, this part? You know where it came from. If you love the movie, you know where this came from. Right? Yeah. But she didn't fucking hear any of this. She heard this. Right. That was it. <laughs> That's why little kids make such good drummers. They, oh, they yeah. hang on to it. You know? Hang on to it. Yeah. Hang on to you it. See those little like four or five, four year olds play drums. Oh, it's all over Just... back there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was our ambient. So is that the only one you wanted to share? Well, that was the one. That was the. That was. That's. That's. Good. That's just up. It's first. Yeah. That's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
no, no, no. That's that's probably one of, one of my first. That's my that's my number one. But I'll give you one that. Yeah, they're working great. Uh, it's uh, Backstreet Boys. Oh. Fucking everybody. Oh. Not fucking everybody. Fucking everybody. everybody. I want to hear that song. Fucking everybody. My Backstreet Boys party. party. Fucking everybody. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, everybody. This song makes me wish I could dance. Right? <laughs> so we're gonna tattoo so, and get wasted. If you don't know the song, <laughs> then you're living in a igloo somewhere. And you're rocking. I put in the song. Like, this is the end. Hey, I gotta grab my little dog and go home. Yes. 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 Okay. Well, oh I'm shit! Better rise. <laughs> if we aren't dancing to this and whatever afterlife there is. What are we even doing? <laughs> what are we evening? Right? Then you must be in hell. Right? Yes. Make it to heaven. Backstreet Boys that I fucking Oh, love. the things I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of his heart songs. <laughs> yeah. So do you so, have more? Or so, do I get to go? <laughs> so, oh, oh you're my going list. We're going through our list. Oh, man. I got one more. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. No, 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 no. She could go first. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. No, 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 no. No? Yeah. <laughs> yes? No. No? No. Do it. Okay, you got it. Yep. Pull it up. No, your turn. It's Old Town Road. The Billy Ray. I hate how catchy it is. I can't even help it. Ta-da. It's the biggest song of 2019. Yeah. It comes on and I'm like, it's there. It's in in my head. (laughs) I don't think I've listened to the whole song. I don't think I've either. All together. No, I just like watching the video of that. Whenever that it comes on, it's no. there for the rest of the day. No, I can't. No, <laughs> I haven't even made it through a full song and I turned it off. Like, I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? I have no control. Like, I'm sorry. I know everyone's like hooked on it and it's like this huge I ha- thing. I don't, I don't even know who did the song. I have, that's why I had to ask Christopher because he knew what I was talking about as soon as I said it. Yeah. Yeah. Was that yours too? Yeah. yeah. You motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I told you guys. That's why I said, yeah, I know. It's, and it's not even it's not even the song. It's the, it's the it's, song. It's, it's the, the music. It's the dude. Yeah. Dancing. That's maybe that's I what it is. I love watching that dude dance. I love watching that dude dance. It's that dance. kick, that kid, that late kick. A little, kick, little huh? kick that he does. He does a little like <laughs> country thing, and he's not that's country it. at See, all. We're not even hooked on the song. We're hooked on the dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, the dude. That's all I can say. Yeah. That's all I can say. Yeah. 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 And then I got some, uh, um, Jasmine Palmer said that this song was big when I won my kickboxing tournament in Ottawa. Which one, dude? Which song? Which song, Jasmine? Yeah. Jazz? Jazz? Jazzy. That's jazz. her cousin, Jazz. I know yeah. Jazz. Yeah, I think Jazz. But I like saying Jazz, though. We were Street? playing the Backstreet Boys song. Okay. Yeah. 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 I think it was that. Right. That, that one? Could be yeah. Wrong. Yeah. Well, right? See, All right. Can you imagine? All right. Do we have someone some, dance? Yeah. Hey, you guys have any Everybody. Any honorable mentions? Yeah. Uh, Basically don't... anything Spice Girls. <laughs> I, I was gonna say. Yo, give me that speaker. I'm gonna show you this shit after oh. everyone's done. <laughs> I thought Matt was yeah, like, we're done. Yo, give Pictures, me that beat. I'll get you that beat. <laughs> He's like, I got a song for you right now. Right? <laughs> you so, bust it out. <laughs> my other one is uh, Like a Prayer. Oh! oh. So I love 80s tunes, because. and because. this is like Primo Madonna. Is that <laughs> is that uh, for your ears only though? Yes. Is, do you think that's yes. because you're a man? Uh, or a maybe white girl a in bit a man's of body? <laughs> <laughs> you still have white girl in the man's body. <laughs> so I don't know. I, you think I, that someone is gonna be like, "What the fuck?" If they hear you listening to it, is that why? 
Maybe a bit. Is it's, it on it's your mainly... workout remix? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, it's on my Shazam. <laughs> You're like hitting it hard on that fucking. Well, probably, <laughs> it's probably my most favorite would, 80s song. If I was working out, I'd be like, don't even look at me. I'm, I'm doing this thing right now. It's at the very least my top three 80s song. Yeah? yeah? Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. But yeah, I guess it's because it's Madonna that I feel like. Uh, yeah. yeah. Not so yeah. much as it being Chris Brown. Right. <laughs> He's straight like ashamed. I'm so ashamed. I can't even like him. <laughs> so we'll talk about it. Uh, and another honorable mention is I have anything, anything and everything. Justin Timberlake. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Uh, can't stop the feeling. It's a good song. So I just, I back. just can't. From the trolls. It's the reason why. The reason why is it's just it's when like I listen to Justin happy. Timberlake, it makes me feel happy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what his music is all about. It makes me feel happy, like. The other day I was feeling pretty fucking shitty, like really fucking shitty. So I text, I text this, I text this guy, and I'm like, and I was like, dude, put on some JT. <laughs> <laughs> so I was texting this guy, and I was like, well, I was texting him, I put on some Justin Timberlake. Every time I drive to the village, and I, I just, put on some Justin Timberlake. It just made me feel happy. Feel it. You know what I mean, and like we, I, you know, okay. within the last fucking month, I've hit Inside some pretty fucking. Inside my bones, just like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've been hitting some pretty fucking dark lows and. And, you know, I've been trying hard to find things that really are making me happy. Yeah. And, funny enough, that motherfucker does it. JT in the house. It's the Ooh. dick in the box. That's right. <laughs> he loves that dick in the box. Anything oh, yeah. and everything just in symbol. I like, I like Mother Lover. That's a good yeah. So, you, you touched on something I think we could probably talk about later. About, like, how music helps us get out of these dark spots that we feel that we've hit or in and especially this time around this time of year because like i mean people i I mean like i I heard a statistic a long time ago that like unfortunately like the holiday season is when like suicide the suicide rate rate is like at the the, at the highest Yeah. yeah absolutely and it's all sorts of reasons and it's like a horrible perfect storm of like financial issues, yes. family related, um, and maybe it's even like something that isn't even that, but it's like something that's preventing you from seeing family, like your guys' situation, yeah. how you couldn't go see one side of the family, but I mean, at least you can see, spend it with the other side, right? Yeah. yeah. Or so, dealing with grief. Death yeah. loss or yeah. loved yeah. ones, yeah. yeah. That one's hard. Yeah. That one hits home. Oh yeah. Sure does. Yeah. Definitely. But we could probably we could probably you know expound on, upon that a bit later. Yeah. We can finish up with our. Because uh, you want to hear some edge here. We want to <laughs> hear what Malcolm has in store for us. Let's go. All right. So the premise of this is that he recorded a song. He is Shape of You. Yeah. He used a, an effects pedal called a loop station. <coughs> yeah. You play a guitar riff, record it. Yep. And then hit loop. Yep. And then he'd move on and record the next part. Hit loop. And then he would sing a part, record that, right? So uh-huh. that's what he did. So this is what he did. <laughs> One man show. That's right. It was pretty, pretty amazing. We don't own the rights to any of the music that we've been playing on this episode. No, we don't. Not at all. Please check all these these for these artists. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. 
like, girl, you know I want your love. Your love was handmade for somebody like me. Come on now, follow my lead. I may be crazy, don't mind me. Say, boy, let's not talk too much. Grab on my waist and put that body on me. Come on now, follow my lead. Come on now, follow my lead. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm in love with the shape of you. We push and pull like a magnet do Although my heart is falling too like I'm in love with your body And last night you were in my room And now my bed sheets smell like you Every day discovering something brand new I'm in love with your body I'm in love with your body showing us how they do it. Yeah. I love those artists that they've laid out each track separately all by themselves. Like they play yeah. several instruments or yeah. whatever. It's amazing. Dude, like the dude that plays in Jordy's pub here in his oh, store. Um, <laughs> that's what we were wondering because yeah, I thought Pistro was the only one that had live music yeah. and then me and Monique saw the instruments. Arthur, Arthur Renwick. He's a one man band. He's got, yeah. this, he's got this little bass that drum name. that he stomps on. He plays guitar. Yeah. Yeah, he's a wicked blues guitarist. Yeah. Good singer. He plays there frequently. So, guys like that as well. That's where I saw that name. That's why I know that. And he's from Cape He's like a home, home, home. Yeah, Renwick. Renwick, yeah. He's, I like to make notes of what everyone says. He's Heisler? Yeah. yeah. Nice. Nice. I believe so. That's why I know who that is. Nice. That's why I know. That's why. That's why. <laughs> 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 no, um, yeah, that, that song, like that process reminded me of a group that does that a lot. Um, what? It's. Um, Sarah Blackwood. She used to be a lead singer for. Oh yeah. She used to be a lead singer for the Creep Show. Yeah. Okay. But she sings with her husband and their group now, and it's like What's fall it off, called? fall off the earth, or ah uh, shit. I follow them on Facebook. I don't really pay attention much to them right now, but right, right. That, that's how they play their music, right? Each member plays like like they'll play. They they were on Jimmy Kimmel, mm -hmm. and they played one large guitar. So and there's six guys. members, six members in the group, and they all played one huge fucking guitar, right? And it's it's uh, fuck, I, to, I can't remember. But it's her, her name's Tara Blackwood. She yeah. used to sing for a Creep Show. She also did a solo like solo country thing. Yeah. And it was badass. Yeah. It was fucking badass. I fucking still love her shit. But um, that's what that reminds me of. So that's how they they. They put together their music and stuff. Everybody plays like a certain section, and or they play weird instruments like <laughs> fucking spoons. You know. Each person has a piece, and when they put it together, it's yeah, awesome. It sounds amazing. <laughs> nice. I mean, that's kind of all music. Uh, yeah. Do you know? What I mean? But it's not it's not <laughs> usual instruments, right? They're not playing just drums. They're not just playing bass guitar. They're not just playing your stuff. Yeah, they're playing like real real weird shit. You know how um, Jimmy Fallon does the. The kids. The kids instruments. Kids oh, instruments. That's yeah, probably yeah. the one of my favorite. Yeah, it, it kind of reminds me of that. How they he brings the fun back to music. Yeah, together. I like that. He's got this. Xylophone. He's got this childlike wonder about it. Fuck yeah, he does. And I fucking love it. People find it annoying, but I like it. I find it I endearing. Think I don't think I it's do. annoying at all. Oh. Yeah, I dig it. Music is music, sound is sound. Yeah. And it's it's a preference. Like I'm not gonna knock you for your shitty taste in music. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Although I can't stay in a room of country for too long. <laughs> Sorry to say for all those country lovers. <laughs> right. Depends on the country and it depends. Yeah. But still, like like I said, I'm not gonna knock you for your shitty taste in music. You can like it all you want. It's perfectly fucking fine. Yeah. Everyone to their own. Yeah. Okay, I mean come on. 
Fucking, we just listened to Ed Sheeran. It's me. (laughs) (laughs) There's another artist that um, a friend referred to me to the other day, and I'm just trying to find that right now. I'm not trying to be antisocial or, (laughs) you know, stare at my phone for hours, but uh, she was fucking amazing, and she did the same thing. She recorded a little bit. She put it on loop. She did the next part, put it on loop. And I, I fell in love with her, and I listened to her for days straight, and then now I can't even remember her name. But I love that. That's yeah. what we always wish it Fucking me and Norman did that. Yeah. Me and Norman did that. You listened to something and then forgot? Yep. We do that all the time. <laughs> I do that all the time. That's yeah. me. Story of my life. No, I don't remember this shit, but I'll write it down. It's gone. <laughs> it's gone. That Norman and I, we, we recorded our one, an entire song, just the two of us, yeah. right? Track by track. Yeah. Ourselves. That's the best. And it was. I still like, have that's that song. Sure, yeah. right? That's so like right. soul. Yeah. And it's what is it? It's it's, it's oh, half idea. It's, I still got it. I still got that track too. Yeah. yeah. It's good. Yeah. I dig it. It's yeah. kind of, it's punk rock. It's punk. I think you sent it to me first. That you got to do the road song. You sent it to me. I was like, yeah. yeah. Nice. <laughs> it's uh, so like what means of uh, listening? Do you have this on like? Do you have it like on an MP3 or like because we were so old school, like we recorded our shit on tapes, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Do you have it on an old cassette tape or like? <laughs> I got it on a reel to reel, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's, an actually track. Um, it's actually tucked into a rock and then you have to slide a step over it. <laughs> and then the sound comes out. Yeah. It vibrates off this rock. <laughs> It's on fucking YouTube too. Oh, the song from No Idea. Is it? Is right. it No Idea? Yeah. It is. Yeah. No Idea. <laughs> you remembered the name and I didn't. That's funny. Yeah, I still have the ship. I, love you. I still have the ship from your band with Will Pals on it. That's crazy. Yeah. That's that was that so long phone. ago. Yeah. I wrote some of those songs with them, man. Yeah. I, I recognize them. I was like, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. We were chilling in Will's basement. Yeah. That type of deal. Nice. So back in the day. Yeah. yeah. I'm not so old that I don't. <laughs> I'm so old I fucking forgot. It was only like you need more years ago. Right. <laughs> Is that I what helps you remember? Because I'll take I need daffodils. Daffodils. <laughs> daffodils so you can remember. Right. I'll take flowers so I can remember. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can't I can't find it. Hey, it's on YouTube somewhere. Right. Should we ask, are you guys sitting around after the podcast? No. Here it is. Here it is. <laughs> this is the podcast. This is it, man. Who is asking that? <laughs> right? That's me. Old school hardcore. That's crazy. <laughs> this is Norm. Yeah. And Christopher. Two years ago. Three years ago. Three years ago. I think Norm, he had to be still straight edge. Yeah. When he did it. This is before he gave him his first beard. Yeah. <laughs> we ruined his life. Four years ago? Four years ago. Okay, yeah. It's like old school straight edge. Hardcore. 80s. See, and then I like Backstreet Boys. <laughs> I like that fucking Billy Ray Cyrus song. Neil making a but deal over there. <laughs> He's slanging? He's like, oh, you're back. Excuse <laughs> me while I make this oh, deal. No, we're <laughs> talking shit about him now. <laughs> but yeah, that was really awesome. Crack over there. Yeah, that was, That's really yeah, fun that's... to have that available so that we can listen to it. Yeah, I think it's good that you hang on to that shit. Oh, bro. Because it's forever on the internet. It's so easy to lose, man. Oh, I know. And it's so good. You know, um, Darren liked that, too. And he was, like, super proud. Like, Christopher did that? That's dope. Yeah. Yeah. That was a good day. Yeah. That was was a good day. I remember that. I think we need to bring it back, bro. We can bring it back. We can always bring it back. I could could play punk rock from a wheelchair. I could play punk rock from my (laughs) butthole. 
I sing from there anyway. Yeah. Like punk rock in your sleep. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Did anybody else have any more guilty pleasure songs you want to talk about? I can't find mine. Anybody else want to have any musical I have situations? one, I think. One other one that I can think of off the top of my head that I can't really remember because I have a list like Chris on my phone, but I can't really remember it. But my siblings I know. Phone. <laughs> 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 That's your phone over there. Yeah. I can't exactly pull up the list, but my siblings I <laughs> love to bring it up. But I fucking love Call Me Maybe by Carly Rae Jepsen. Uh, oh, not with you on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just See, when it came out. You shouldn't out. have to apologize. No. You're oh, putting yourself out there. This, this is why we made this. Yeah. We're here. Yeah. We're here. Yeah. This is what yeah. we're doing. We're, we're here. Queer. We're queer. Get used to it. <laughs> That's right. I love it because it's on sing. And it's one of like my girls' That's favorite right. there you go. Yeah. movies. Yeah. See, there's a relation. I there's love that movie. There's a relation right? to it. Yeah. It's never. It's funny. It's never just the song. It's not the way. Equation. It's never just. It's never See, just that fucking music. It's a situation. Yeah. Or it's always a situation. Right. I would never fucking listen to Post Malone. Yeah. I would never just listen to fucking Justin Timberlake. I would. I would. I would listen to Jay Z. I have. I, yeah. I've never downloaded like Post Malone. I like to like, run a hot bath, like, light like, some candles, Post Malone. right? <laughs> put never some JT and just I fucking THC CBD fucking. I don't think that I wouldn't. Though. Yeah. I heard Something's that Post Malone started ass. with like. Ooh. He was like a emo music. punk or something. He was like he was like a hardcore band or something. Yeah. yeah. Who's that? Post Malone. I, oh, I, he's, I he's like a metal band or something. Oh. Yeah. I heard his like upbringing was like orchestra and like Maybe. classical music. Classical music, heard. and then I think he went into. Got into like metal. metal. He found a tattoo parlor and then everything changed. <laughs> <laughs> he found a tattoo parlor and then showed him his teddy bear and was like, "Put this on my face." Aww. But draw your own teddy bear. I dig it. I yes. admit, like, I didn't care for the cat at first. He seems then, like a like, groovy guy. Oh, well, Chantal was telling me about him. My daughter was telling me about him. She yeah. was explaining stuff to me. And, you know, I was like, yeah. That's... And he writes, his, he writes his own music. He writes yeah. his own lyrics. I'm like, yeah. I've got to yeah. respect an artist. He's, music, right. he's musically inclined. Yeah. And that's mm-hmm. perfectly fucking fine. I just don't like yeah. it. I, I have to say, I'm on the... Like yeah. Yeah. I yeah. did look but into... I like that one song because of my daughter. That late artist that passed away recently, that Juice World guy. I did... Look into his music a uh-huh. bit because I kind of like to do that to kind of get a feel for what type of audience he may have connected with. He right. seems to have touched a lot of people. Yeah. yeah. Who's so, this juice guy? Juice World. Juice World is the artist. So juice World. I, 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 I discovered yeah. him. Well, a friend recommended him to me about last summer because I was going through some shit and they were like, check this out. I mean, you, you'll like it. And. I looked up the album at the time. It was called Goodbye and Good Riddance, I believe. It's a pretty, pretty good, pretty good album if I have to say so myself. I mean, I categorize it as emo rap. Oh. And it is actually a genre that a lot of these artists that are a part of, mm-hmm. like Lil Peep. Extenicon and Juice World were all. Is that how you say his name? I don't know. I have no just... idea what's going on. I see, I see I that just... word and I'm like, ah, it's, ah, these, ah, it's these yeah. artists that like yeah. all died in the last like yeah. two, three years. They oh. took emo to a next level. Well, why did they die? Uh, I don't overdose. know. Drug overdose. Drug overdose. <laughs> really? Yeah. Shit. Why did so Why did yeah. 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 Little Zan do the do that rap? Who's Little Zan? He did. He o he od'd on flaming hot Cheetos. <laughs> you can only fit so many in your ass, I guess. Right? Oh my god. You can only you can, you can only fucking suck on your own dick oh. for, so for so long. Can you? I don't know. That. Challenge. We can ask a certain artist who supposedly had rib, ribs removed to do that. Oh, that oh. that was bogus. That was. Oh, yeah. I was looking for ago. That was Marilyn Manson. That was a lot. Yeah. That was a straight lot. I checked. I looked. I, I, I asked him. I looked under that shirt. <laughs> he still got all his ribs. I don't know what's going on anymore. No. <laughs> this is the deafness. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> it's more like it's more like it's been effed up. <laughs> it's exactly. Just been out. Out. Thank you, Jim. We hope that you guys Thanks, feel like you just were hanging out with your friends so all night so having dumb conversation because that's what this has been. <laughs> it was organized and great in the beginning, and then we just kind of did our own kind thing. Kind of rebel, chaos, devolved. I'd like to thank the fucking daffodils. Who has flowers? 
and these yeah. fucking lemon suckers. Are they, is that what they're really called? Sucking lemons? No, it's just a flavor. Hey, can you go pick me up some sucking lemons? <laughs> it's, it's my go-to drink if they don't have the original Smirnoff ice. And if Is that what they taste like? It's like a bargain version. <laughs> it's like the Walmart version. It's like girl Great value. <laughs> they don't have my Smirnoff ice. <laughs> I love Smirnoff ice. Maybe I am a white girl. I don't know. Hello. Hey, dude, I, I like white star lemonade. This is my first time hey. meeting Neil, so this is all. <laughs> first impression. You just wait till he starts cleaning his nipples and it's all over. Speaking of, let's show everybody. Oh, hey, oh, guys, hey. guys, get ready for this. Okay, you gotta get serious. 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 It's just playing cards. That is hilarious. I was there that day. Okay. So, so serious business, guys. Serious business. Yeah. So what are we gonna do here, guys? We got a, we got a situation we gotta take care of here. Yep. What is well, this for? If we don't have don't any know. callers, yeah, no yeah. one yeah. wants to call. Us. Maybe it'll be a us? contest for the next episode, so we can put forth call a call, 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 and we could show them call. what they're call. playing for. Okay. Yeah. You're gonna have okay. to walk up over there, though. So yeah. this is a con. We're gonna have a contest for these. These are playing cards. Yes, playing cards. Okay. This looks like the best one ever. Dude, this Courtesy is the best. of so these Malcolm are cards. and Tyler for assisting in it. Yes. Dude, these are. Pink. Malcolm got the photo. Tyler got the order through. Yeah, these are. Thanks, Tyler. You're the what is giggles. <laughs> So I can't even look at this for... picture because it makes me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so so this is what you're playing for, folks. This These are the cards, for on the next right? Episode. Take, take, take a card, any card. So Deck of cards. Call in. Call in. This is the other side and of the cards. I'm still trying to figure out the contest. We wanted to do a Christmas thing because this is for Christmas, so we wanted <laughs> to do it. Like, that's guys. the other side. That's the back of the cards. It's that's Swanili. Believe in the heart of the cards. 52. <laughs> I can't even look at it. <laughs> We're going to have a contest for these guys. So, so dirty. Contest wins you a deck of Swanili nipple tweaking. Playing cards. Nipple tweaking cards. Well, hello, Jenica. Jenica. Look at these. Look at these. These are so Jenica. like. You said that. You said Jenica. I did. New school. Yeah. These are new school. Check it out. Hi, That's Jenica. a joker. He said hi, love. All right. Ooh. Okay, so what are we gonna do for these? What are we gonna do? Well, I wanted somebody to call it's, in now. It's for somebody to call in for the next episode. What's the number? Next episode. For the number, so, for the number we'll like, give them the number. How many do we have? Two. One. One. One deck. One deck. For now. For now. For now. For now. One's for Neil to play strip poker. And then you get some stickers too, so. Yeah, we're right. we're gonna throw a couple of stickers in this. Yeah, if you call in, you get stickers and, and a deck. A deck of nipple Because it's Christmas fun. and we're feeling giddy. <laughs> I, I feel like maybe Swan, for the contest, it should be like a draw for people to submit their guilty pleasure yes. songs on the next episode. So if they if they submit a song, they can pick a card. And then we get the name. We yeah. put, and then we pick a card. We'll Are pick we gonna a do it out of a hat situation? Yes. Yeah. Okay. We'll Why? do it, we'll do it out of my ass yeah. situation. <laughs> Duff's gonna go on all fours, face it. down, ass up, and we're, uh, we're gonna gate his butthole and tuck we're everything in there. Stop talking about gaping. No, it's okay. <laughs> we'll do it Austin Powers style. We'll have a sheet up and a light shining from the other side. There so Chris go. can stand. The <laughs> creativity of this well, all right. I love it so much. <laughs> I'm glad I won't be here. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. You're putting the names in, man. <laughs> That's not the best one, I'm sorry. Okay, so there's that, guys. It's been a great time. Yes. <laughs> All right, so I do believe we should hit on some serious notes. Yeah, okay. we wanted to talk about some things. I don't know. You guys want to talk about some things? I always wanted to talk about some things. So, uh, like we said, it's like Christmas time. Things get pretty shitty from during Christmas time for a lot of folks. Lot for of most folks. Yeah. For yeah. most fucking folks. Like, even if people are in a good situation, they still get a little shitty for them. Because, you know, sometimes yeah. you miss people. Yeah, finances, exactly. family, finances. isolation, you know. Isolation. Uh, isolation. Isolation is a big one. Yeah. And yeah. because of isolation uh, is usually because of loss of, of family. Yeah. yeah. That's usually why you're isolated. You know what I mean? And, and then sometimes it's just a social thing. 
And so there's, there's the whole, like, what is it, seasonal affective disorder? Yes. It's a, yeah. it's a thing. People just generally get sad around this time of year because your body's not producing as much serotonin as it should because there's a lack of sun. Mm-hmm. You're not getting vitamin D. Yeah. Right? So, people so it makes it a little more difficult. So you need, like, those sad lights, those lights that emulate the sun, right? Mm-hmm. Or you can take vitamin D supplements or you can eat eggs. That eggs. helps. Eggs are good. Yeah. To supplement your vitamin D. In times like this, which is really important for certain people that are very susceptible to depression. And what I think, what I think the best thing is to do for this time of year for people who like suffer from depression really badly, like people sitting at this fucking table, yeah. is to be around the ones you love. Yeah. Being around them is much more fucking fun. Together, together, togetherness is probably the most important part about being about being in this season. You know what I mean? Because I mean, we have a whole bunch of other fucking seasons, a whole other fucking situations in life that happen. Like birthdays and this and this and then you miss the anniversaries of different things that happen yeah. you know what i mean but it tends to hit harder at this time you know we have folks that are not here with us that normally are here with us during this time uh, that are normally the one that are supporting us through this time yeah. and they're not here so it's very important that you be around people that you love and things that really don't necessarily make you happy mm-hmm. but just Make you feel good. Make you feel whole, really, whole. Yeah. right? Give me comfort. Yeah. Me and Monique whole. were talking about this earlier, too, um, how it feels when someone checks on you. Right. Right? If you've been just giving it from, like, a month straight and, like, you're exhausted or, you know, you're just working hard or even you're just, you haven't really talked to anybody. You've been secluded and you did it to yourself or whatever. That feeling when someone checks on you. And or asks you how your day how is. How are you doing? What are you, right? what are you up to? How's it been? It seems like you can ask so many people in a day, like, how you been, yeah. how's your day? Throw it out there. But for someone to, like, ask you in return, mm-hmm. it, yeah. it means a huge deal. If, if you're the person who's alone and you're just like, do it, you do it, throw it out there. Whoever yeah. you not talk to, or if you just go down your list and be like, I'm gonna say, so, I'm gonna say hi, because what it's gonna do is it's gonna make you think about something other than being alone. Even if you are alone, you're gonna throw it out there, right? And so what's gonna happen is you have no idea how many of those people that are on the list so, that you're just reaching out to that you're gonna make feel so what I think what I think we should do what I think we should do is, as, as, as a table and as a community as our F this community is go down a list of people that you fucking care about and let's say tonight tomorrow or within the next couple of days yeah just messaging somebody, Hi, calling how are somebody. You? I love you. Yeah, that's like, it. it doesn't just, have to be no, an hour-long conversation. No, just no. a quick hello. Yeah. Just yeah. a quick hello. Just to say I love you. Call 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 the mom that you haven't talked to in a while. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Call call the dad. Call the aunts, the uncles. Call call the sisters you haven't talked to in a while. Call your kids. Call your cousins. Call anybody. Call yeah. call call your fucking mailman and your milkman if they still exist. <laughs> no, just, if you see just, someone smile, there's so many different little dude, things. Dude, just say it. just say fucking happy holidays. The hardest part right? about being that way or being secluded or being sad and all that is to pull yourself out of it. Yeah. And I think sometimes, and we talked about this too, is just even if you're you put on something happy in your car where you have to go drive to go do something, you're taking your kids to school, you mm-hmm. have to go to the store to go get something real quick. Listen, so you know, to really fuck. throw it out there. Just be like, you know what? Ugh, I just want to be happy. I want to feel good. Yeah. Or fucking just tell somebody. I'm like, fucking get a slushie. Tell, no, no, no. no. tell somebody. Time. Tell somebody that you're not feeling good. Yeah. Yeah. Like I did. Like yeah. I did. I fucking ran out of my way. Yeah. Yeah. Tell Malcolm. I'm not fucking feeling good today. Yeah. Like really, not feeling good today. Yeah. You know what I mean? And. What do you guys do? What yeah. happened after that? What'd you say, Malcolm? Yeah. What'd you say? I'm a lover, man. I think oh, I'm a lover right. every day. Yeah. I mess with you. He loves me every day. Yeah. yeah. We always go fucking do something. Even if it's just like. And as soon as you say, like, I'm not feeling good, yeah. getting it out there makes reach. you feel like a little better. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's, it's yeah. like it's not. It less pressure. It means that yeah. you can get past it, right? Exactly. Exactly. I'm Malcolm. I'm Malcolm. I mess with Malcolm all the time. And yeah. you know what? I'm having a really shitty day. And I'm fucking almost about to lose my shit and I have no fucking clue who to message or I feel like I'm completely alone. Mm. I reach out to one person and be like, look, I'm having a shitty fucking day. And as soon as I say that, the whole thing can change. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Right? I have a friend in this group chat of other friends that I'm part of where they will do what they like to call like a mental health check and they're just like, 
your day on it, how's it been based on a scale of one to ten? How's it been for you, like mentally? Like one being the worst and ten being the best. And then just like all our all my friends, myself included, where we buy into this for you. It, it's good. It's just like, well, it's felt like a five because this, this, and this, and this. I mean, sure, maybe we don't feel exactly 100% better afterwards, but like getting it out there, having somebody that's willing to listen helps. To start. And like, if you, even if you just do that with friends, it's like, hey, how, how have you been mental health check, scale of one to 10, how's your day been, or how's the week been, how's a month been, right? That almost seems like too much work for me. <laughs> like, I hate to say it, but who has that fucking time for me? Right. Even just saying to someone, have a good day. Yeah. Mm. Have a good night. Like, yeah. you know, like anything, just a quick little, yeah. I love Or good you. morning, yeah. right? What or I, good morning. Right. Like, have a good day. What I like to right. say to people in departure is, Take care, yeah. right? Take care of yourself, yeah, you know? Yeah, totally. Regardless of what's going on, please just take care. Like, I bet take it's, care not, it's not perfunctory to you either. Like, you don't say it without meaning it. You oh, actually mean it when you yeah, say it. Totally. Yeah, totally. I think that's important, too. Is, I, think, uh, yeah, I think Don't let anything that you say to somebody be perfunctory with no meaning behind it. Yeah. You have to send the energy it. behind it. Or yeah, I mean, don't ever do anything, anything half assed Put something okay. behind it. Put Full something ass. behind it. 100% you know, Invest in it. 100%. Invest, right? in, invest in when you ask someone how they're doing. <laughs> when you ask them how they're doing, actually be interested in what they're doing. Interested in what they're going to yeah. yeah. say. actually want to know yes. what they're going to it say. It feels so much better when you know someone's yeah. actually listening to the words that you're saying. Right? It's like it's like when we it's like what we do here, when we sit here and talk, right? We actually all give a fucking shit about what we're saying. What? What did you say? <laughs> 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 Just kidding. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, shit. You know what I mean? Like it's 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 it's, it's that important, right? Right? Even if it's a fucking stranger, it's a fucking stranger that you see in the street and they fucking genuinely ask you how you're doing. What do you tell them? Yeah. That's a hard question. When you, when like, trying to, I'm okay. I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm fine. Right? Right. And that's a good answer. What's because funny it's a about that is this week. Because <laughs> it's a fucking you know, stranger. stranger. This week, tell me. I've tell me. Okay. Here's, here's, the, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Yes. At an absolute stranger in a customer service setting, they ask you how you're fucking doing, and you actually lay it out for them. <laughs> How fucking uncomfortable is their day at that? They okay. ask, I've had several people ask this week, hey, how's it going? How are you doing? And I'm like, ah, man, getting through. I've said that, and I never say that. I always say, oh, it's great. Thanks so much. <laughs> not even, I don't think not even once. I just let my shit out. This week, like, I was like, ah, you know, just trying to make it through. A couple more things. A couple more things. We're going to get there. So, like, Totally, totally like not even normal Shantae. Like the funny, fabulous, fantastic. Have the, a great day. The, the funny thing was, the funny thing was like this whole shitty fucking Christmas. I was looking forward to this. This part. This today. Me too. Uh, today. Me too. Uh, today. Hey, I, I, I mean, I'm excited for the kids. Yeah. I'm excited for for being with my parents. I'm excited. For, for, for that on Christmas Day. I was nervous as fuck. Look at you, you're in here now, you're in it. But I was really, I was excited for today. I was excited for this. Yeah. I was excited to talk to you guys and be with you guys. And I was excited to be a part of F this in the yeah. world. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's, it's hard. The holidays are so fucking hard. Yeah. Beyond, beyond the really hard part. It's hard in itself. Yeah, man. Like, it's hard in itself. Even if we had everything that we wanted to have, it's still fucking hard in itself. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, like, everybody tends to forget the most important about the holidays. Everybody's always like, oh, I got them this, and I got this, and I finally finished all the presents, and I finally got the omelet. And I'm like, dude, no. You know what the important part was? These kids don't give a shit about that. They're excited about opening anything and everything. Kids are just excited about opening. What, and what the end result, about? the end result that they get, it's a they'll fucking forget about it in a couple of weeks. 
But they'll fun, remember. They got. They'll remember, remember we just being excited together, being excited with them. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. They'll remember don't, that you made them sing "Happy Birthday, Jesus." <laughs> 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 they won't remember why they all fucking forget. Thirty fucking years. I don't fucking remember why I got that year, but I do remember having oh, to sing to Jesus Christ. How much yeah. do you want to bet that Dad's gonna make us do it again this year? Oh, <laughs> I don't know why Jesus Christ. I'm sorry. I'm gonna remind if he doesn't, if he doesn't, I'm gonna be like, "Happy Birthday, Jesus Christ." Oh, I'm gonna be like, "Happy Birthday, Jesus Christ." Right Before now, we open our let's all get together. We need to sing Whole Happy Birthday to Jesus. And if your dad does there, if, if he doesn't do it, a face or some weird thing, that's that. Oh, wait. I want out. Do you guys also play like that fireplace thing on the TV while you open gifts? We have a fireplace, so I don't know what you're talking about. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Last year we no, had we a fireplace. Did, we did, yeah, we yeah, used to do that yeah. last time. Yeah. We did a couple of years, yeah, yeah, for sure, I remember yeah. it, yeah. Making it toasty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But seriously, seriously, you guys gotta remember what the holidays were, are really about. Yeah. yeah. It's together. Don't worry that your presence didn't come because the post office was doing weird stuff, or yeah. that their truck caught on fire. No. Oh, I'm sorry, your presence were on that truck. Yeah. But, you know, Never some mind, dude, the is yes. burning in there. I was, I was just going to say, that poor driver. <laughs> so I really don't care about okay. presents and stuff. I, I never really have. That's, I just want to be with the people I love. Let's forget about the fucking accident that happened in the four-way stuff. Well, this motherfucker's losing his fucking vehicle for the holidays. Yeah, Dude. that sucks. Right? That, 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 that doesn't fucking matter. No. Just mad that he ruined the traffic and all that other stuff. <laughs> Can well, we let's, not? Let's, let's, seriously, everybody's just got to sit back and remember. The most important part about being together is always just being together. Mm -hmm. yeah. And if you guys haven't heard from somebody or you have a friend that's, you know, shitty or whatever, reach out, invite someone, do something nice. I had an ex-boyfriend who like called everyone, every holiday, every season, every birthday, and I'm just like, you're a really shitty ass person. Like, how do you go out of your way to make that extra effort and tell somebody happy birthday or give someone a call and say happy Father's Day or happy Mother's Day or Merry Christmas? Like, that is so kind of you. Like, where do you find it within your black fucking heart to make these phone calls all the time? How can you be such a cunt? Right? There's gotta be some piece of them that you really like, right? Somebody can get those there. phone calls. <laughs> he always called me, though. He never meant to call me. He was just really obsessed with phones. He had a phone fetish, yeah. He was walking Phoenix from her. <laughs> I have no clue what you just meant. <laughs> you have to watch her. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm totally watch Yeah, her. I'm totally out of the loop of anything. <laughs> Call your parents and say thank you. If you're not with your parents, make sure you talk to them. Yeah. Because that's like the thing, right? Our parents, and as parents, we want to do the best thing and make them happy. Yeah. And if you're a kid out there and you haven't talked to your parents, talk to your parents and tell them, thanks, man. You really rocked my shit as a kid. <laughs> right? <laughs> you got me all fucked up, but yeah. I still love you. <laughs> this is, you know, this is really cool. I'm a better person because of this. Yeah. Yeah. You know, just say thank you because you know now as a parent, too, or someone who cares for children, that you know how much work it is, how oh, hard it is, how much stress. Just, like, hug your parents. Say thanks, man. Hug the yeah. shit out of them. Yeah. Now, there's a couple of things that I say to people all the time that I make sure to say to them. Make sure you drink water. Well, that's one of the best. Stay, stay, stay hydrated. Everybody laughs at me when I say I say stay hydrated all the time. But one of one of them is um, I see you. I see you. I see you. That means a lot. Because it's really creepy though, because he's usually looking through the window. <laughs> 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 I see you. It's, it's, it's always like this. <laughs> no, we're in pants. No, he means he sees you. Like yeah. he can tell. I see you. I, right. I feel you. You know, yeah. I see you heart to heart. You know, I feel you. I know. Yes. See, but not a lot of not people can see people. No. No, no, they can't. Yeah, it's it takes some feelers it to is. see, right? Yeah. Look at these feelers. Coming <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at been through the dark, you know. Right. And you can relate to people. Yeah. And another thing I like to say is, you're enough. You are enough. 
You're not a big one. That's a oh, big, yeah. big, yeah. big one because a lot of people don't feel that. They don't know that. They don't understand that. And they hear it. They're like, wow. Or and you're and doing a good job. Yeah. Right? You're, doing a good you're doing job. a good job. Yeah. Yeah. It's good I appreciate it. <laughs> I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. These, these things are like spark things within people, right? Gratitude is huge, yeah. guys. Sure. Right. I feel you. You're enough, right? I love you. you when you're tired and you, you did a bunch of shit and you're just like, and no one says anything, yeah. nothing happens for you for that, you're just like, yeah. well, at least I did it. That's good. Yeah. But no one said thank you, and yeah. that's the bummer. And another thing is you say, hey, you did your best today. Go to bed. Try again tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow's another thing. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I, want, I don't tell people, hey, tomorrow's going to be better. No, no. it might not be. Tomorrow's going to be better. But I'll, worse, tell people, I'll tell people. I'll tell you instead. You get a chance to try again. Yep. Okay. Mm. It might not be easy. It might be really. What shitty. do I say, Malcolm? It might surprise you. Okay. It might surprise you. It might you surprise never you. know. Yeah. A couple of things that I always like to tell people are: this too shall pass. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's and amazing. nothing is permanent. Yeah. yeah. Like this situation is never gonna be the same. Yeah. It's never gonna happen again. Yep. You're in a shitty situation, you're stuck right now, but it's never gonna be like this constantly. A bad day, not a bad life. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And they call them cliches, but you know what the cliche is for a reason? Yeah. Because they have so much meaning behind them. Yeah. Yeah. So much truth. Exactly. Yeah. Take the so one you like truth. and go with it. Yeah. yeah. yeah exactly. so, sometimes you get a cliche from someone and you're like, you fucking asshole. Like, yeah. why are you telling this to me right now? Like, you're like, I love you. <laughs> Fuck you, I love you. Right. Yeah. <laughs> no, like, like seriously. Whatever it is, whatever that thing is that you tell people, make just make sure it comes from your heart. Exactly. You know? Make sure it means make it feel right. And don't t- don't expect them to say it back. No. Yeah, not at all. Just that, you know, if anything, tell them to pay it this. forward. You know. Yeah. I always, I, you know, I tell the people that too. Like, if 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 I go. If I feel like this person is going to reciprocate the same gesture, but the people here, I know they will. Right. Yeah. But there's people out there that don't no, no, feel like they want to reciprocate. They don't or can't understand reciprocate. They don't believe right. in reciprocity. Like so, I, so, so I simply say, you don't have to say it back. Just understand that I'm, I, I feel this right. for you. I do yes. this and I want you to, you know, understand. Pay, pay it forward. Send it forward. Yeah. Carry it with you. So the funny thing about paying it forward. <laughs> So this past week, I was um, getting fuel at 7-Eleven in Terrace. And I, I got fuel, and then I had to go inside and get milk for Olive. So while I was in there, I went up to the line, and this lady was getting fuel for her car, and then she had a muffin. And uh, <laughs> she she uh, she had a gift card that she was trying to use to pay for it. And whether the gift card was working or not, or whatever, it just wouldn't work. So she tried a couple of times. And then I looked at the lady that said, oh, don't worry about it, I got it. And then she's like, are you sure? I'm like, yeah, I got it. And really, we're not, in this, we're not in a great spot right now. But I was like, you know what? I got it. The lady looked at me, she's like, it's not just a muffin. I was like, she's like, I'm getting fuel too. I was like, I, I know, I'm, it's fine. And then <laughs> she, she grabbed my arm and she was like, Oh my god, thank you. And I was like, don't worry about it. Because you know it's embarrassing, and then, right? And then, and then she looked at me, she's like, I understand this was taking long. And I was like, that's not it at all. And then she looked at me, she's like, well, thank you. And I was like, you're very welcome. And then she was like, you know what? Merry Christmas. I was like, you too. Right back at you, babe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Right? And I was like, no, you too. And then, uh, and then, and then she walked out, and she... I you know, got her fuel, and I got the milk. And I saw off. that lady walking with the muffin. <laughs> I didn't know until he told me the story later, and I was like, oh, I saw that lady. <laughs> that I, see, I, saw I, saw I was like, yes. Yeah. I was like, yeah, but, the one with the muffin. But I was just like, I was just like, yeah. you know what? It was cool, man. But you know what? That's what happens when you pay it forward because we yeah. got it back. We we always get things back. We know you do. Because you're just doing. doing the right thing breeds the right thing. And you put positive things out, you get positive back. Exactly. I'm a true believer in that. Yeah. I read that book, The Secret. The and that's fun action. and all. But I promise, you just do I, good and get good. Yeah, I don't believe in that whole manifesting. Giving good and being good, man. That magic. 
We like we literally I'm had powerful. we literally had not even one Christmas <laughs> decorations. We don't have anything for Christmas at all. Yeah. And like once we found out we were gonna be here for Christmas, it was like Christmas came to us. It yeah. just like poured down on us, and all of a sudden we have a tree and we have presents and we have Christmas lights, and we're just like, whatever? Where did this come from? And everyone with their love just gave us Christmas, yeah. so that we could give it to our kids. Yeah. And that's the biggest thing, and we were just lit up. And you know why? Because we're just trying to be nice to people. And that's the thing. Yeah. That like community and friendship and family, yeah. it means so much. Like, I'm so grateful right now for what the community of Grand Prairie is doing for myself and my family. Mm -hmm. Like, I could not have a million and one things for them, you know? Like, yeah. I don't even know where to start. And when people come together, and like they say, like a village raises a child, you know? Yeah. It's hard to find. It really is. Yeah. But when you do, you got to keep it close. Yeah, yeah. man. You know? You know like, keep of... those ones that you absolutely love and that you know that mean a million things. But just keep them close. Yeah. You know, it's funny that the world that we live in now, where all this technology is supposed to bring us closer together, but community is a rare commodity now. Yeah. yeah. Right? We're just commodity. Yeah. yeah. Everyone's staring on their phones. I was thinking about it actually <laughs> within the last couple of weeks. and. I have had like the worst two years of my entire life, like hands down, a million and one things that I could add to my list of things that could drive me into my fucking grave. Uh -huh. And I honestly don't know how I am so above that right now, but I have to say one of the main things that is keeping me away from that really deep depression is not being on my phone yeah, so time. much. Absolutely. Any time that I'm sucked into my fucking phone, my mind is driven down. Yeah. And it's so deep and it grabs you so hard. Yeah. You know, and like you said, it's supposed to bring you close and it's supposed to bring you together. And you just want to people. stay away from people more. It's insane what a difference it is. There was this article floating around Facebook the other day, and I didn't get a chance to read it. Read it. Didn't even fucking save it, because like you said on one of your posts the other day, how you go to comment on something and it refreshes <laughs> automatically, <laughs> right? And it's gone. Yeah. But it was talking about how they were saying like four and five year olds are being diagnosed with depression and anxiety because of their screen time. Yeah. yeah. The time they spend staring at these fucking things, their iPads, their tablets, their phones. They're you know not I mean? playing. They're not yeah. learning other things. Like, they're not using their, it's a, it's they're a not tool. Using their they're imagination. Not use it properly, yeah. right? It's a tool. If you, if you, you know, regulate it, their time on it, it's like, yeah. sure, it can be good. But if you just let them free reign on yeah. it, right, yeah. then that, It'll have that sort of effect. It's a tool, right? And they're not learning how to be around people, how to interact. I think that's not even just children. That's everybody. Exactly. Exactly. That's what I mean. I got this theory of screen time on your cell phone. People think that they're having a bad day. Like, oh, I'll go on Facebook and I'll talk to my friends and see how they're doing. But it's not. It's not a mood enhancer. No, no, not at all. It's a mood amplifier. Yeah. Whatever you're feeling at that moment, if you're depressed or angry, it's just going to make it worse. Yeah. 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 So you got to put it down. Do something else. Because you're, you're comparing yourself to your peers on yeah. social media, and you're like, well, they're on a vacation in the Bahamas. Look at them. They're having the time of their yeah. life there. <laughs> or look at this person. They're showing off their new vehicle or whatever or <laughs> they're they're new. Person, and right. they're completely depressed and yeah. bitching yeah. about their lives again Sitting in the bag of Cheetos on your belly what? he's just like <laughs> <laughs> Cheetos off your belly <laughs> you just gotta you just gotta Aww. know that people unless they're stupid they don't post their their dirt on Facebook you don't yeah. see the hardship they're going through on it they're just yeah. posting their you know the best on it Sure, they're on vacation. Most people, yeah. But you're not seeing the stress that they're going through. Negative, or negative, or if it's yeah. a vehicle, you don't know that they like fucking, you know, did sold a lot of shit or like put themselves into like a deep financial debt just yeah. to get that. That's what I always right? think that too. Like it doesn't matter how much someone else has or the you know, I have a house and five cars and all this and that, and I'm like. Well, you know, 
That's yeah, cool, but you gotta dude. move back to Australia. Yeah, now, what are you fucking doing with it? Yeah, yeah you, you just gotta like not Everyone compare yourself lives. to them exactly. because nobody's Everybody posting their them. hardships online, right? I mean, maybe some people are, but they're not. Yeah, they're not. I don't know who you have on your friend list, but <laughs> I know, holy I'm fuck. Right? Okay. They're not posting the hardships. Unfollow, 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 unfollow. They're, they're, unfollow. they're, they're vacation Neil. or, oh, or, yeah. or, or whatever. Vacation so in Bahamas. <laughs> but, I mean, I, sure, people do post, but I'm not... I mean, like, the real... They're, they're, the the stuff that's really, like, yeah, they bugging show, them deep. They, they, they show, the show you what you want yeah. to see. Yeah, yeah. what they want yeah. you to see. They, 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 they always talk about... They all talk about the good things that they want. While they are posting that good stuff, maybe in their mind they think that they're helping to well, I... enhance other people's moods, but they're, maybe they don't see that other people don't see it that way sometimes. Right, yeah, and I know... Some people are looking at it and like, some people feel down about themselves. Yeah. I know for myself, I posted some posts and made them seem so perfect, but deep down, I just wanted that recognition, I guess, from other people mm -hmm. being like, okay, you know, like, awesome, or whatever their response was to a post, you know, like, yeah. you want a mood booster, so you yeah. put something happy out there in order to, for you to feel better about your life, yeah. you know? Yeah. I just want to iterate, I'm not downing people that post pictures of them on vacation. <laughs> oh, of course not. Yeah. Vehicles all the <laughs> time. Because you, you know what? Maybe, maybe it's well-deserved. <laughs> Enjoy yeah, exactly. yourself. Maybe like it's a well-deserved thing that they worked hard to work. Right? Enjoy yourself. And I think that's another thing, too, is I'm so afraid to post shit on Facebook because I'm scared of so many people who... Um, want to pull the jealousy card. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That want to be like, oh, well, she's doing so good. Blah, 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 blah. It's like, no, it doesn't work like that. You know what I mean? So, I stop caring about I, I whether people like, are going to be I jealous like of me. That, for me, that would motivate me more to post stopped, it. It's right? like, That's right. I'm confident in this. If you, Just because you're not, you know, secure about where you are in life, does, shouldn't hinder me from posting it. Exactly, yeah, that's right? what we were talking about yeah, earlier. I hope I'm inspiring yeah. people to do more. Because yeah. if I'm capable of doing all this shit all the time, I feel like you can too. Exactly. And I feel like there's no excuses for things. And I don't know if I'm just a fucking cracked out person and like a cheerleader yeah, about things. But I do, I get a lot done. And people are always saying, what the fuck, Shantae, you're crazy. But I feel like if I can do it and I can work hard towards something, yeah, can so can you. And I, I hope that people are inspired oh. by me, not jealous. Right. Yeah. Because I didn't do this because someone else gave it to me. I started from square one, and anyone can do it. Yeah. Oh, right. Straight exactly. up. Yeah. Okay. You only so wish funny. the best. Right? Yeah. So funny. And if you have a talent or a passion for something, exactly. go for it. Rock it's only going to make your yeah. life better. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I just opened up Facebook right now, and um, one of our friends just posted this. I'll just name her Sherry. I'll just name her Sherry. We'll just name her. Out of the blue. Out of the what blue. What did Out of the blue, Sherry. Say it. All right. So... She said, I feel this post 100%. She said, fuck a Christmas gift. Give me my grandma back. Right? Oh. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You all got somebody, right? <laughs> yeah. Everybody has that somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody has a somebody. Or has a somebody or together five. Right? Five. right? Bringing it back around. Togetherness. Like, yes. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yes. That's entirely it. So are we going to lock it up now? Uh, I think so. We're at the two hour mark. I think so. Yeah. And since we kicked it, like, so chill tonight. Kick it! Kick it! <laughs> <laughs> you right, guys got right. to hear some of our funny songs and what we love to listen to when we're alone. Let we're us alone. know what your guilty pleasure is and yes. you could win a Dead Ten Twister. Twister. Oh, Can we Twister also card. see your ugly Christmas sweaters? Right. I think that would be a really yeah. good post. Yes. Send in your ugly yes. Christmas sweaters. Send us your yes. ugly Christmas sweaters. Please. Who doesn't ugly love Christmas rocking hats. Them? You have ugly to be Christmas wearing socks. Them. Ugly Christmas. Yes. Every your ugly yeah. Christmas yeah. life. <laughs> Let me see your ugly Christmas life. Okay. So guys, send it over to fthispodcast at gmail dot com. Find okay. us on Facebook at F this account. Before you close this up. Go. 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 <clears throat> this was the announcement that I wanted to make on the last episode. That That's what I wanted canceled. to know. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, so <clears throat> everybody at this table almost I think knows that I recently stopped taking my antidepressants. Yes. Yeah. And 
and foggy. Amen. Um, like at the end of every day, I look back on my day and I'm like, did that day just take place? Was I really with so and so, or were we really just hanging out, cruising down the street, or having, you know, a drink? You know, there's times when I was hanging out with Oliver, and then he would drop me off at home, and I'd be like, was I just with Oliver a while ago? You know, it's just a really weird feeling. Fog. Yeah, like the foggiest of fogs, and I don't know why. Mm -hmm. And they did make me really docile, like just chill, chill beyond chill, uh -huh. compared to how I normally am. So I just decided one day I woke up and I was like, you know, I don't want to do this anymore. I, I can't. I can't take these fucking pills anymore. It's driving me crazy. So I stopped taking them. And from here on, I'm keeping a personal journal of how I feel without them. And uh, I, I'm starting to microdose psilocybin to supplement my mood, I guess, to help me try to enhance my mood, to try to stabilize this situation. This kind of Right. And just today I started to take lion's mane, which helps with memory. And explain to everybody what lion's mane is, though. It's a mushroom. Yes. Yeah. Lion's mane is a mushroom. And so I'm taking that. I'm taking another supplement called 5-HTP, which is another mood booster. I, I've heard it on several podcasts, one yeah. of Joe Rogan's podcasts. I've read about it a little bit. So I'm doing all these things. I'm taking other supplements, right? I'm taking vitamin D. I'm taking Asia. I'm taking a multivitamin. I'm taking iron. I'm taking uh, what's that fucking an anti for a gut for a gut biome. Why is that word fucking escape me? It's in yogurt. Probiotic. Probiotic. Holy shit! See, Dude, this is. I like how when you said escape me, the yeah. word sounded like it escaped. Yeah. Me. See, that's, that's another side effect of this whole medication thing is I'm starting to, like, my memory is just horrible. I'm getting these blotchy spots of forgetting words that I know. I know these words, but they're gone. But the lion's mane is going to help with that. I'm hoping. I'm hoping it does. It's, mm -hmm. like, so hard to find a reputable, uh, a good wholesaler quality, that sells real quality products. Lion's mane. Yeah. Like, I had to do a lot of homework to find yes. a good quality one. But this was my announcement is that I'm going to keep track of my progress from here on. Future episodes, I'm going to sort of touch base with everybody and the listeners and let you know where I'm at with this whole thing because <coughs> the people close in my life know that I tried to do this this past year. Yeah. I tried to come off the antidepressants, but I didn't do a very good job and, and uh, ended up doing something really bad. And so I'm trying again, and uh, this time I'm going to be extra careful about. And he's telling his friends and loved ones around him. I'm not isolating. That's right. And yeah. he's keeping track. Yeah. So if he's, if he's the a, stick cracks, we know when and where and why, yeah. right? I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I, still, actually, I still have a lot of problems with isolating. I still have a lot of problems with locking myself up in an apartment and just being by myself. But not so much. Though. It's it's different now. Yeah. I'm not wallowing. I'm not, you know, I'm not contemplating anything. I'm, no. I'm just kind of taking some me time. Right. I'm Yes. And, and you're that's also well still, and you're that's also well and you're still, it's allowed and you're still yeah. community. You know? yeah. And that's the thing, though. As long as as long as I don't stay there, as long right. as if I feel that darkness creeping back, I can reach out. Yeah, which I do. Yeah. All so I'm going to from here on. I'm going to keep notes on my moods, what's happening, any progress, any changes inside with the stuff that I'm taking, and I'm going to report back here every episode, and I will be held accountable to everybody at the table and all the people that are listening. Yeah. And that's that's what I want to do. I'm going to be sort of like a, a guinea pig. And we love you. We're yeah. so thankful. So proud. This is helpful not only for everybody who's listening, who's dealing with the situation, but also for us yes. to support you yeah. and help you through it. Yeah. And help us understand that if we if we can travel this route, we can travel this route. Yeah. Yeah. And because thank you for being vulnerable to share yes. that with us because I know it's a big deal, right? Yeah. It's, it's a it. big deal. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's something that I normally wouldn't do. No. But I feel like the more of myself that I share with people, uh -huh. The better that they can not just understand me, but they can try to maybe figure better out themselves. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you guys right now, though, we have listeners, friends, and people that are around us who have reached out and explained to us that listening to this podcast has not only helped them think more about what they're going through, but also share with other people around them. Yes. You know, like some of our friends are like, you know, I have the worst social anxiety. 
and you wouldn't know it, but oh my god, I was so anxious right now. Or oh, I was so scared to do that, but I did it, you know. Yeah. Or I forced myself to leave the house today, and you know, when I hear you guys hang out and talk, it feels like I'm hanging out with my friends, and you guys are going through the same things we're going through. Or you guys touch base on a certain thing that I was thinking about too, and that's important to us, and that's why we do it. Yeah. yeah, you guys are our own fun kids. I mean, as funny as and as as fake as that sounds, no. When I tell you guys, be excellent to each other. I mean, I mean it from the bottom of my heart. As much as of an asshole I may seem or look or act, I still want you to be excellent. Because no matter what, I am still excellent to you. He's faking it. <laughs> all the time. He's and a we fake, squishy all the teddy time. bear. As much as we sit here and talk to each other, we're like, we're, we are talking to everybody at home. Yes. We care about you. We want to hear about your stories. We want, yes. we want you to share with us. Yes. Talking to you. Yes. Yeah. I am telling you, everybody in the world, be excellent to each other. Just a little bit. I'm not asking you to be a 100%, not 100% loving to each other. Not 100% that middle love you. What I'm asking you to do is just be a little be bit excellent. Be good to each other. Just yeah. a little bit. Remember, everyone has their own journey. Exactly. And let them fucking ride their own journey. Yeah. yeah. Right? <laughs> right? Exactly. Understand the process. There's a process that we all live in and a process that we all have to live through. Neil. How's it going? Pretty good. Yeah. How are you doing? Yeah. Merry hey, Neil. Happy Christmas, Neil. Merry Christmas. Neil, Merry Neil, Christmas. Neil, I haven't told you today, but I love you. I love you guys. Love you guys. Love you. Guys. Love you. And we love you guys out love there. We're growing you. with us and having fun with us. Big hugs. Merry Christmas, our brother. Everybody, Merry fucking Christmas. Merry fucking Christmas. Happy fucking Hanukkah. And for all you Muslim fuckers out there, Happy holidays. Shalom. <laughs> Shalom. Whatever you celebrate. We love you guys. Love you. you. Whatever it is. Have a great holiday. Have a great holiday. We don't see it before the new year. Have a happy new happy year. Happy new year. Yeah. Oh. And. Oh, what? No. Nope. Ah, no. Drop it. Do we want to drop it? Drop it. Do we want to drop it? Drop it. What about the idea of this yeah. drop it. Okay, so there is a possibility, not 110% sure yet, but there is a possibility that I might be doing some piercings while I'm out here. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. we right now are at Divine Inc. in Kinemat. Um, I might be set up here New Year's Eve, is that when the yeah. tattoo party is? Yeah. 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 So, um, Don't yeah. Get your nipples poked. Come, Come, Come get your dick poked. Oh, Come get pierced by a professional, <laughs> a very amazing, extremely professional, intelligent woman thank you, named thank Monique, you. who knows exactly what she's doing, and Come she's get your here dick to poke. poke you. We still have to figure out what we have for jewelry and supplies, but that is a huge, huge, huge possibility. So you get your dick poked. Yes. Come on down to Divining. You'll poke whatever you want. Poke. And I'll touch your dick. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> I told you, you're gonna get your dick pumped. Come on out, guys. All right. All right, you guys. Peace. Love you, love you, love you, love you. Guys. Be excellent. Be excellent. <laughs> Merry fucking excellent. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.